I'm Ski Sonic. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, yeah, it's that time again. We've been waiting since the last season to going on to the new season now. Nice and fresh, and look how we jumping things off with RG's block and taking on ET Red Velvet Cake, Justin Wong. Big fella, it all comes down to this. It's one year after the last time these guys faced at this stage. Justin Wong, Flocker, winner's bracket. I got a quote from Justin. He says, I started off last year in the same position against Flocker. I don't want that to happen again. I'm feeling better this year than last year, and I got some new tech to break out against Flocker. Let's see what Let's he has for us. This is deja vu. It's like, it's like we never left. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting off the neutral. So you already know the game plan for Justin Wong is to press Flocker straight up into the corner right away. That's what's going on there. He's got to pick his spots. Oh, Zero is so good at controlling the screen, but he found it. There it is. He caught that TAC, and I'm calling this up. We're going up. We oh, missed. no. Oh, we got we got Zero May Cry this time around. Oh, nice punish. That's Justin Wong. That he nice dropped save. it, but he scooped it up even better. Nice save right here. we go. All right, let me see some tape. Let me see some tape. Oh, man. This is Dante's worst nightmare, Wolverine Akuma. Flock is very aware of this. Good punishment, no confirm. He's able to stop the Akuma there, but he still can't stop the pressure. All right, here we go. The meaty jump. Oh, I Came like that. Came in swinging with the light. You got to do it now, yeah. Take advantage of as, as much as you can. This is going to be the swing. This is the turnaround. El Diablo. El Diablo with the mix-up. All right, here it goes. Ron Harvest mix-up. Where we going? Oh, stayed on the We're going up. Oh, we getting caught, though. Nice grab. He could, he could kill before the X-Factor runs out. Let me see. Let me see. You got those? Oh, I see what it is. The sandals ain't on right now. Okay. He still got the tra trigger activated. Right, Storm still looking good. Tachala is still looking good right now. I wonder what's going on in Flocker's mind right now, knowing that Justin Wong still got all his resources. I don't think he's thinking right now. I think he's just going. See, it's, good. it's a little weird right here for the neutral, because you know Flocker's usually used to the Hawker arrows. Yeah, and right now Justin's really dictating the pace because of that. He doesn't have any control on the ground, Flocker. Yep. Yeah, you're right. He's normally going with the Hawkeye. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if he loses this right now, he's going to go to the Hawkeye. He needs, he needs more ground control. It would help him. Oh, block your legs. Nice. Dante still there. Couldn't get the follow-up. Hemming up Akuma, and he has to source the safety. Let me see what Justin got. Okay, nice defense there. Good evasion from Justin. He's got two meters. He can make something happen. Chip him out. He might expect the right hand. Chip him out, yep. Good, and he's in the air. He's got him in a prime position. Great oh, play from Justin. Great play. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's body time say. Nice block. Wow, the awareness. Yeah. Justin Wong. That was a slippery situation. All right, all right, all right. Let me see what you got here, Tay. You know, I get a little biased when I see some Dante. I, I, can, I cannot find. I don't mind, baby. I don't mind. I like me some Storm. NBC2, uh, represent. Yeah. I love the patience from Justin. He's controlling the screen, moving backwards defensively. He's at the light lead. What does he care? Yeah, it's going to be really hard. 30 seconds on the clock, but it not, might not even matter. He got the hit. Breeze, put your hands up. Oh, he's going to lay him out. He's going to make a statement right here. He's going to yeah. make a statement right All these 17 seconds, he'll go in and make the statement with the hit. Last year, Justin lost 0-3 in the winner's bracket against Fox, so he's already starting off wow. better. The confidence is Flocka, man. He's, rock, he's still rocking with the Zero May Cry. I'll tell you this, he should rock the Hawk against Justin, but when it comes to Zero May Cry, you got to pick it on Chris. That is if he bumps into it. Look at how Justin's looking right now. He might just send him to that set pool right oh, now. Oh, Rich just back to the original side. Real simple reset. Is he going to factor? Just gets the two. Oh, it's over. Oh. This is a bad look right here. Justin Very bad knows. Look. He knows perfectly how much damage this combo's going to do, and he got him. Nice block, but it can't block forever. Oh. The fuzzy wuzzy. Justin. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's taking oh. it to the evil champ right now. Champ got to wake up right now. We in the grand stage. This is how you're supposed to be playing right now. But this is the marvelous one. Can he get the block? Ooh, oh, oh, Justin went for the triple. Just whipped. Actually would have hit, but ended up on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Got a little bit ahead of himself. Uh, well, lucky for Flock. Uh, he should get in zero right away. He needs that assist. Some, something to control the neutral, at least. Yeah, it, it really help him. But he's betting that zero will be able to get the best of Wolverine, but it's just not happening. Okay, nice stoppage there on the Akuma. Uh oh, a little bit of chip. Fuzzy stuff. Oh, okay. he's in it. Don't even touch block. It's not even worth it. Yep. That's one thing you need to know. Once he does the berserker charge and the hell's in play, it is no need for the push block. It's a 50-50. Nothing you can do. 
Watch out for Akuma. This is rare. I, I, I barely see this. I don't even know what he does. Oh. He gets two. He, he gets a happy up. birthday. Oh, the slowdown messed him up, but that's okay. Still, ooh, still hit him. He's still red. He's still glowing. Is the marvelous one human? He's got is he human? His input's got messed up! That's the deja vu, man. That's is he gonna get three? He yeah. just got the three. He's gonna off right now. We go into the third game, y'all. Oh, he missed? Oh, I was about to that say. That was close. I was she was low. Very, she was low. Very low. Very low. She was low. Well, the confidence was locked the shows. He stuck with the zero man cry. He's still in there. Just the one still composed, though. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. It's just how he got him game one, but this time he hits the two of them. He goes ahead, burns the X Factor. Oh, my God. X-Men. They oh, need a cool one. Honorary X-Men this year. Justin Wong. Oh, I like that choice, though. He got yeah, an X. Time to go nuts. He has no choice. He's just the one very aware that, okay, he crowned him. We might just get that roll tag to get rid of it. No, he's taking it. Wow. Oh, the delay cross him with, that up. with that street fighter. Chachala. Evasion again. The air mobility is really proven to help Justin in this matchup. Oh, come on. Helmet breaker. Too connected. high. Too high for the confirm. Careful with the Kuma there. Doesn't Ooh. get a punish. Nice, nice. He actually would have punished the Flocker teleported, but he let it rock, so it was a good decision there by Flocker. Flocker looking for that air grab. Still at looking. Point, at this point, he's trying to kill the Akuma, but Justin's not letting him, let him have it. Oh, there nice. it is. He there got it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, come on. Oh, this is Evo, baby. Can't drop those. You're the champ. No. Very uncharacteristic right there. Uh, good positioning from Flocker, though. He's really avoiding these dash-ins from the air and trying to punish. Immaculate space from both of these guys. Come on, come on, Storm. Come on, Bird. Where was the follow-up? I think he could have got a juggle. Good block. The legs, the legs are protected more, more than ever now. But the time is running out. Fock is the one that has to make something happen. Wow, that was classic oh. Marvel Two Foot. I got a right flashback there. right there, yikes. That was a classic Marvel Two Foot. I was right having there. flashbacks. I was having That's flashbacks. That's the neutral. That's the neutral, man. Took me Justin back. Justin Wong. Took me back. Justin Wong, man. Six times the MVC two champion. He's trying to get one in MVC three this year. Yes, definitely. He wants to be back in the throne, nice and comfortable. And it looks like he's almost at prime position. Nice. Oh, he's killing that jam set. No, he's killing the version. Mixing oh, it up. Oh my goodness. Mixing like it, it up. Yes, it is. Is he gonna be greedy? No, no, he's no. gonna kill. He's gonna kill. Nice and X Men. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Efficient bodies. Oh, Defense. nice break there. Okay. Defense. Locker must get zero in the game immediately. He's going at him, swinging the sword. That's actually a lot, a, a lot that uh, made uh, Flocka win a championship last year. He did snipe out the Akuma assist a lot oh, last year. I love what Justin's doing right now, though. He's slowing down the tempo of the game, and he's putting the onus on Flocka. You got to come in, and you got to you get a clean hit. This is classic, man. Only difference is there's no Cyclops. It's, it's sandals this time. Yep, top of the screen. Come see me. This is classic Justin Wong play here. All he's trying to do is wear you out yeah. and fatigue you so you can make that one mistake. It happens to me all the time. That he went for the triple again, but over his head. But Flock is playing excellent right now. Especially not rocking, uh, no assist right now is very hard for Adante. Player. It's the blocks too, you know, when you get down like this, it's so hard to not go in and just start swinging. But Flock knows how important this is. Can he get this? Wow, oh. right on time. Beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, here we go. Mixed up with Tent right here for Blocker. Will he tie up the game? This has, been, position. this has been the heart of Justin's team. Slowing down the tempo, dictating the pace by going to the air, and now he doesn't have it. Good, Good block. block! Amazing! He's not done yet. Oh, he's going to be a block. A block. Oh. oh! Smart decision. Yeah. Smart decision. Yeah. Justin knew that he was going to get a block, but yep. so he'd rather have the Akuma dead and have Wolverine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, eight may Oh. We chuck the plasma. Oh, the game time decisions on the fly from Justin Wong, keeping himself alive, and I was gonna have another shot at zero. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. We push block last second so he can avoid the mix-up. I like that. Beautiful. The defensive push block, and that's high level stuff. This is top eight. That's all, that's all I expect here. Tries to go at him. Respecting the defensive Dante assist, Justin trying to thread the needle. That jam session, I'm telling you, that jam session ain't holding too much weight. But it's at least a deep adjustment of tech. 
so hard to approach Zero. Once he gets up in the air, he comes down with that pizza cutter, oh. as we call it. But Justin, Good he man. got him as he went back up. No. Oh, no. It's looking like this is going to be it. We're going to get that meaty. We're going to get that meaty jump is. Nope. We're going raw. Oh, he's Nine back seconds. up. Nine seconds. Oh, oh the beautiful. tempo change. Beautiful. And Justin Wong advances to the winner's fight. Amazing stuff. High level stuff. Now, Flocka is heading to the most dangerous loser's pool you don't I've be ever seen in a Marvel Top 8 for Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You don't want to be there. Definitely don't want to be there. But I mean, you know what? Flocka's still in the game. He's still a champion until he goes set, they send him to uh, spectator mode. Hey, Justin said that he feels the pressure to win this year. People come up to him and, sit and say, save Marvel. I don't want to see the Virgils. I don't want to see the Zeros. So he feels the weight of the world on his shoulders 200%. He went up there and he answered the call. And rocking that Children of the Atom team, of course. And here, right? here he comes stepping up to the plate. Filipino champ. RG's own, another RG representative stepping in. And here comes the world's most dangerous man. He's so dangerous that he came with his own chair. Yeah. He's so dangerous. Oh. So if he swings that chair, at least he won't enter anybody. It's always a chair shot available from Jan. Jan he's he's a surprise at the top eight. Actually, I wasn't really surprised. Okay. He's actually been one of the, the hardest workers this year yeah. in terms of Marvel. Yeah. He's actually an OG. He actually came from the Guilty Gear side. Oh, yeah. Games. And now he's here in the grand stage. Jan represented Texas here, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now here, this is the double-edged sword right now. All right. If he gets the clapping and he catches Magneto, great chance of winning. But uh -huh. that is if he can catch the Magneto. Magneto's mobile flip. Filipino champ's the best one at that. Yep, man. Arguably. Filipino champ knows how to handle some big bodies. Y'all saw it. Y'all seen it at Northwest Majors. He body came through River. Easy peasy. So here we go. And we looking good. What's going on, Warriors at home? I see you. We're here. Evolution 2014, top eight. Ultimate Bar vs. Catcon 3 action. Tweet it out. We here, and we ain't going nowhere. This year, Jan reminds me of last year's Ron Masama, representing the South, doing really well in the tournaments, upcoming to Evo, and now he's here, representing the South. Again, these guys are great. We've got SoCal represented. We got two from New York. We got Texas represented again, Florida, NorCal, if I didn't say that, all over the place. And I got my two New York homies. They on the side waiting to kill each other. Twice over. Represented. You know, the, the rough part of that is somebody's got to go home, but the good part about that is somebody's going to stay. Somebody going to represent no matter what. Guaranteed. You know I mean? But before we get ahead of ourselves right now, it's Filipino champ up against Jan. These guys both have uh, amazing win percentages in uh, major tournaments coming up in, in the last couple of years. But the thing about Filipino champ is he has much more matches under his belt when the stakes are high. They're both about batting around the 60% range, but uh, Filipino champ has about four to five times the matches and uh, later brackets, later portions of the tournament. So really expect him to be favored here. But Jan, like you said, the most dangerous yeah, man. man. Like Can't count him out. Champ is clean. He's Tim Duncan clean. Super unpredictable. And he's so precise. He's the wall. And it he is. could not get through the wall. And this is what I was talking about. If Jan gets this kill on Magnus, it is in favor of Jan right now. And he's going to get the kill. It's going to happen. Oh my god. Ooh. Get him out of here. Dr. Doom, what you going to do, baby? Oh, okay, okay. No guesses here. We press the button. All right. So no champ knows how to calculate his situation defensively. That's what makes him one of the best. Might the nerds be getting to him, though. That was a rare drop in the Doom combo. Filipino champ's one of the only, one of two of the players that have been in the top eight of MVC3 every year. Yep, yep. Ever since Final Fantasy's lifespan, he, lifespan, he's been on that stage every single time to represent. He's almost there. He's almost making the prize. Yeah. Five meters. Slowing down the tempo. Oh, good block. That was a tricky dragon punch from Jan. Would have caught a lot of players. Yep, yep, yep. You got to take it. It's actually a advantage. It has an advantage on block. Not too short. I think it's two or Plus three. Plus five, baby. Plus five. Five, five doggy. That's a lot. Oh, nice punish. Smart decision from Jan, but not DC, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a failure to confirm, and Jan's definitely going to be kicking himself over that one. Oh, oh. Do you think he'll spend it on Shuma? Nah, nah, he's PSG. Oh. Yep. I was just going to say two side. Oh, no. Jan's still in the control. He's down right now. And, and Champ has met, he has met his mission. Five meters is on deck. As you can see, he is confidently keeping Phoenix in for the giveaway against Hagger. Definitely a better choice than Dr. Doom in the Hagger matchup. He goes ahead and Jan switches in Hagar. Hagar does have some uh, some shots at Phoenix once she bursts. 
wonder if Jan has that on deck or if he's just trying to build meter here. Yeah, the tech that Hager has is to uh, chuck her in the air to teleport and then go up there with the Azuna drop. Like Doom. Doom. So we'll see. Might he trick him with the TAC? No, evasion. And he gets a hit. Clean stuff on Filipino champ. Jan took a risk. He would have needed to X-Factor himself to safety. He just didn't do it quick enough. Nice. Okay. Jan very aware the situation is. His best shot is Hager, if he even has a chance to win. Yeah. But Champ with the evasiveness, the defense. That is his, one of his signature traits, is the defense. He's going to keep backing it up. Whenever Jan gets close, he's going to go over, he's nice. going to go under. Wow. That's how you do. Good awareness there by Filipino. He's just walking the dog, walking the dog all around the stage. I'm pretty sure he's disappointed. Man, you got a nice little dinner table going on right now. That means he's trying to finish his plate. Most no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, got, he's got his drink out. Silverware coming up next. I'm pretty sure he was disappointed that he lost Magneto early on in the game. But now he is in control of the screen. This is his game. He's on the move, yikes. Let's go. Let me see what Bruce Banner got for Magnet. Oh, we chucking Earth. Filipino champ says he hates Hagar players. That just shows that he has a little bit of trouble dealing with the assist, so here's the adjustment. Move back. Hagar can't hit me from full screen. Clap, but not slam down. Not yet. Not yet with the slam dunk. Champ is very fortunate right there. Threatening to try dash overhead Filipino champ is, but he does not go in. He's just waiting. He's baiting. But he's got to protect his buddy. Good snipe. Oh, oh, if he up. Up there with the heavy. Getting greedy. Wow. Good awareness. Good awareness. <laughs> that is actually classic Marvel 2 play right there. That was great stuff. Filipino champ, he did play himself a little bit of Marvel 2, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Oh yeah, that FGT, FGTV combo, nice and comfy. He's home right now. He feels at home right now. So is Jan, he actually got his own chip. <laughs> but anyway. Can't beat that. Shuma Gorab Hagar versus a full Magneto, Dr. doing Phoenix. This Don't know tough. how it's gonna play it out right he's, now. He's gotta be thinking ahead right now. There we go, he's bringing in Hagar. Okay, not Couldn't at all. get him in off that one, he probably would've gotten punished. Definitely. Magnetic blast, the positioning of his magnetic blast. What I like about Chan's play right now is the way he chucks those magnetic sonic bones. For some reason, they all jump. Yeah. They all jump. I don't oh, blame yeah. him. Yeah. He's controlling the screen incredibly well. Throwing the booms out, going in behind them, over them, and cutting off angles of approach. Yeah, right now, Champ is licking his fingers. He looks like he is home. Oh, you know what this is. Filipino Champ special. I think we might see 38 seconds of this. You are not catching Magnus. That is Magnus. Yeah. Ski is not Magnus, it's Magnus. Magnus. Leave him alone. Damn, he is turning it out. The crowd is loving it right now. No, they're not. He got through, and he got right back out. You know what? You, you never know what can happen in 23 seconds. Uh, you know what's actually funny about this is that Champ is not even doing anything else. He could ground him when he jumps and actually mess up his approach, but he's just letting him move forward and then pushing him back. He's just being a bully. This is looking annoying this right now. He's a bully. And the crowd is finally starting to react you know to what? I think if I was a, Champ soaking it up. If I was allowed, I'll run up on that stage and close line. He's not going to hit him. He's not going to hit him. Oh, no. Of course not. This is a troll. He's doing it for his stream monster. Give him a right chair. Now. Give him a chair, Jan. Give him a chair, dog. Wow, man. Hey, you know what this is? This is real life metagaming. He's getting in this guy's head. There ain't nothing going on in the game right now. The game is over. That is awful. Jan with a nice little smile on his face. He knows he can't do Jack Nathan hey. in that situation. Oh, this crowd is loving Ryan wow. right now. Embrace the hate. Amazing. Embrace the hate. The reaction from this crowd you know, is about, electric. The son about headsets and Ryan that makes him have a bigger head. You ever notice that? I have noticed that. I think that he has a great shaped head for the headsets, kind of a Napster looking. He would be a great, uh, great spokesperson for that. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, y'all. He's uh, made the switch, Jan. You got Samuel Jones. It does help on the neutral even better. It will. It will force uh, Champ to go in the air a lot more, and it'll give him more of a scheme with the pipe mid-air, catching this. We'll see what happens. And this since, is a better choice. And since he's starting Hagar, that means Magneto has to think twice about going in because the Larry can come out even quicker. Champ, very aware of the situation. All he's trying to do now is just 
take his time. This is Chance Guy playing play, right? He's trying to get them all jump happy uh -huh. and just trying to sni uh, snipe and assist at the same time. Uh -huh. He's going for the grab. I mean, let's believe. Who's going for the grab? Ryan. Chance? No, no, Ryan. Uh, Ryan. He found a try that. She took a little bit of a risk there. But he had just landed, so he knew the Lariat wouldn't come out fast enough to hit. So smart, methodical play for Filipino champ. That's the reason why he's champ two years ago. 2012, and looking real healthy right now to go to the winner's final. Oh, wow. He was reading that. He was waiting for it. He just didn't follow through with the punish. He's so crafty. Jan, one of the smartest players in the game right now, but has no answer to this lame, incredible play right here yeah. by RG Zone Filipino champ. Oh, my God. He is right at home. He's not fighting no zeros, he's not fighting no burgers, he's chilling right now. Yeah, I mean, Jan is really smart, but so is Filipino champ, and Jan is at a disadvantage, a distinct one. Ooh. Nice dash under, but a better flop. Filipino champ is looking Ooh, amazing the right now. The the mobility. I'm liking it right now. I give it a seven. Oh. Champ is coming here Sunday, firing on all sixes. Wow, miss, miss, right. rare miss. Commentator, it's just a bit there. It's okay, it's okay. He'll, he'll get another shot. He's still sitting on his feet, really. He literally has about three meters of change. Just, he got four, but he must feel like three and a half just off the lane. Yeah. Just off the projectile game. All right. Oh, God. Come on, Sentinel. Now here comes Hagger. Oh, we running this back. I think you better just bring in the octopus, bro. Man, I'm not a fan of this guy. <laughs> I, so, I, I so do not like this guy's <laughs> gameplay. Man, Jan is trying to be a hero, but I don't think there's going to be any heroics with that guy. You know what? I don't have to respect it, but I damn sure got to accept it. And right now, Jan is in a prime position to go to the winner's finals. And unfortunate, but you know what? It's not over, but man, this is looking good right now for Ryan. It is not over, like you said, but he's got Phoenix in the back. That's four lives at least. Oh, my goodness. He does not want to risk anything, and he doesn't have to. A part of this is that this is the first match of Evo's top eight Sunday, okay? He wants to get himself in a good shape. He wants to get himself warm. He wants to get himself, he wants to shake off the rust and just look good, feel good for the next matchup. Because we got some here. Hold on. Well, we only got ten, ten seconds. Though. I don't know what he can do this. It's pretty much impossible. Like he just needs to kill Doom and then do ninety percent to Phoenix, or well, just thirty percent to Phoenix. At best, All right? Hit Doom, snap and Phoenix, and try to kill up. But right now, this is not looking good for Jan. This is very unfortunate for Jan because I love him as a player, but you know where he's heading right now. Oh, that loser side is looking crazy. And there you have it, folks. Filipino champ going to the winners' finals against Justin Wong. And the crowd is just loving it. You can see it. Hey, you know what? I said Filipino champ. He's one of the only two players to be top eight all four years. You know who that other guy is, big fella? Justin Wong. Justin Marvelous Wong. Winners' finals, couple of the best going to be going at it. Okay, and if you guys love this fast and furious action, this high octane gameplay, take a look at Skullgirls. It's coming soon to PS4 and the Vita. There's new challenges that are in the game, so if you thought there weren't enough characters and when you took your first look, take a second look. It's amazing. The finals here at EVO were incredible, and I cannot wait to see another year of Skullgirls. Check it out on PS4 and Vita. Yeah, shout out to Mike Z, too, by the way. Oh, yeah, great guy. And he really, really knows fighting games and understands fighting games. Speaking of uh, understanding fighting games and knowing fighting games, we got two of the best, two veterans right here. Right now, as confident as Warren was yesterday, right now his health has a little issues right now, as you can see. Yeah. But he's here to do it for the Warriors and the Monsters. You know, he did. He was the savior of the tournament yesterday, pretty much. The giant Slayer. The and this giant is the run slayer. back. This is the run back. <laughs> My, how fate, how, how, how fate works out, huh? Man, he's a little bit sick, but I really think it's, it sparked a new fire in him. He's, he's playing in a, with just an intensity that we haven't seen from him in a while. And I know for a fact that Chris G is out for blood right now. Chris G is simply the best. But Martin has said he feels like he's always been good or at least competent at this at this game. 
His only purpose in this tournament was to take out Chris G. Yep, he didn't even think he would make it through the pools. And he definitely made that statement the first day at EVO. Maybe yeah. day one at EVO, he did tell me that. Yeah. He says now he just wants to do his job and make sure Justin wins this year. Yeah. Little buddy, big brother. My, yeah, whole yeah, plan, yeah, yeah. my whole plan at this EVO is to be the gatekeeper and beat Chris G again so he can't beat Justin Wong. Words from Arnito. Yep, yep, yep. And, just, and you already know, Chris G has been in this position many times. Mm -hmm. then goes to the loser side of things and makes it to the grand finals and yeah. he just takes it out in, in, in destructive fashion. But Marn, legendary player and all types of versus games. But we're here now, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. Top eight. Let's go. Will Chris G get his revenge? Ooh, he's got Strider. I'm sorry, Strider got got. Now, Marn style is to overwhelm you. He wants to get in there. But sometimes he'll overplay his hand. Forgot about those soul fists. He's gonna lose zero pretty quickly here. No! Another chance. He's over! Oh, he has to. He had to. He had to. If he didn't watch no, he, if he didn't want to watch those movies, he had to expect. Okay, nice break there, my mom. Oh, missiles will hit. I think the missiles are gonna hit. Oh, no missiles came out. What? What, what a lucky hit? break. Sometimes things just go your way. Oh my god, oh my god, he can do it! Oh, should have done a high time. He could have killed Dr. Doom. He lives with a sliver. But it'll be tough for Morgan to kill here. In fact, he can't. He has to go to the defensive game, so Martin's gonna want to press again. He's in there, he's in there. Looking like a rabbit pick bull. Oh, nice block there by Yeah, delayed the rapid slash, but a good block. That is actually one of Chris G's biggest winners weaknesses is that strider assist. Martin's hungry. Smells blood. Oh my god. But Chris G does not care if he's bleeding, bandages on him, or anything. I love Mom, but we're going to game two, y'all. Don't worry, your hero is still here. Hang tight. But for all the Chris G fans out there, he is looking stronger than ever right now. It's one game down. Okay, okay. Can Chris G do it, finally? Win the, win the big one. That. That would be uh, a sight to behold. From the loser's bracket? A lot of unanswered questions right now. We want to believe so, but you just never know. Chris G, I think, is the one guy that can win this tournament out of loser's bracket. We've seen him do it before. Not this tournament, but others. He was third in 2012, fifth in 2013, but every year feels like it should be his year. We'll see what happens right now. Great control. Chris G right now up to his feet. Nope, we going to the zone now. Oh yeah, Legend of the Hidden Temple in D. My goodness. It's just offense versus defense. Martin said the plan was to hit him and don't stop. And Chris G got hit, but Chris G's just not getting hit. It's as simple as that. Oh my god. The zone. Oh well, he sniped up the door, so that's a good thing. Wow. Good reaction from Martin, but he couldn't follow through after the X Factor. Match looking very similar to the first one. Martin tried to adapt, but he didn't finish. The best. Okay, good awareness. Oh, I like that. Jump in and stuff on the fireball, but no good. Missiles. He wanted to reset off of that one. He was hoping that the scale had ramped up. He didn't get it. This is where this is where Mar wanna keep Chris Tito. Oh, he's out. The, oh my Strider. goodness. But he's not gonna get too much off of this. Oh! Full okay. punish. You gotta go in. He could definitely kill with these yeah. two bars, and he will build a third. Guaranteed. Clean hit. Oh yeah, washing machine. Oh. Oh, he got him. Ooh, confirmed the hit with Strider, but wasn't aware of it. Arn is one of the best there, as far as execution goes, but he's still a little bit rusty. What? Nice. And he chicken guard too for a for the punish. Chris play there. G. Beautiful play there by Chris G. Excelente. Oh man, this is, when I see this ninja with no X no Factor, X -factor yeah. I'm like, let's go to the next match. He, he's like a he's like a melee creep in Dota or something, man. He ain't got no gum. And Chris G is making a statement right now. He doesn't look calm though. He knows that Mark's pressure can mount at any moment and become immense. This is true, that momentum that Mark gets when he gets things going. Martin, keep in mind, he was TVC champion, and he's trying to repeat that feat here in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, be one of the first, or be one of the few multi-game champions here at EVO. This is true, most definitely. He loves Zero, with Zero and TVC. He definitely has Zero TVC, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it was Alex Sierra. I remember. Alex Sierra. He waits out the missiles. Finally playing a little bit more patient, but Christian recognizes it and sees the advantage. He'll take the Maverick Hunter. Man, this is dominant play. This is what Christian has been doing for the past two years. He's just playing with this dominant play. Oh, he popped it to keep it going. Yep, yep. And the Hellbreaker. Right oh, missile. That was smart to say today by Chris. He did a selfie. Hello. Well. He actually, Amar could actually extra back to the grab and get this situation right here. Okay, he's still in the game. Nice and simple. All right. Is Chris G a god? Will he block this? He evades it. Trainer. It was a setup. It was a setup. Did he know it was going to whiff, James? Was that a setup? It was a setup, indeed. He's We're keeping gonna it. Gonna We're going to give it to him. Which way to block? The same side. Strider, he gives him the shades of the clockwork there. Yep, yep. I don't think that was a good decision there by Marlon. Waste the meter. Oh, my God. Neutral take pressing and button. Strider's going to get hurt a little bit here. But nice decision there by Marlon. Jumping to the other side. All right, here we go. Oh, nice catch. Come on, man. Hang in there. The people want you alive, baby. Oh, not like oh, this. No. This might be the end of the wild card. Nice decision there by Chris. He's trying to save those meters at one point. Poor Strider. But let's see what happens here. He doesn't have to do too much damage. If he gets a hit, it's definitely a possibility. All right, hold on, hold on. Got to hold, hold strong. Wait out this one meter. Oh! 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 Come on, no! Come on, son. He didn't expect uh, it. Oh, not like this. Chris G. Three oh, games to none. Man. Oh. The Giant has arisen, and the Giant Slayer eliminated from EVO. Okay. Where's G? Well, you know what? Marn, Marn, was, Marn is out of the tournament. He will go to spectator mode. But let me tell you, though, he has definitely sparked a good interest here in this tournament. Because yeah. Chris G's in the losing. Still got to work on no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Going, going back home, he has nothing to be ashamed of. Because, like he said, he just wanted to take out Chris G. Ski, do you feel this right now? I feel it, and I'm, I'm loving it. Thank okay, you. Thank no you. problem. No problem. Uh, a little, a little, a little double action. Shout out to Evo for these. We love it. We love it. Fans right Beautiful here. stuff from here. It's from Canva too, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Shout out to the, the official uh, Evo stick this year. Okay. Great That's stuff. What I like to hear. So, uh, oh, oh, moving on here. Oh, this, bracket. Is, this, this is your is, match. This is right here. I gotta watch my boys in action. Tell me about this. New York's fine as well. Tell me about this. These guys has come a long way. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, especially oh, yeah. Insane. Insane came out on the scene. Vanilla Street Fighter. Ray Ray came out of the scene in uh, Vanilla Marvel. Uh -huh. Both of these guys, I keep an eye on both of these guys. They consistently go to all these sessions. Yes. Especially yes. the guys over at the House of Chaos. Shout yes. out to the House of Chaos. Coach Steve. These guys have been grinding non Young boys, these are the young representatives That's of right. the East Coast That's right now. Right. And they practically rivals, you could say, but they are training buddies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, last couple of grand finals, they have faced each other. It has been close, but Ray Ray has come on top. All right. I mean, insane with a great performance yesterday, beating out a Golden Boy Neo in a clutch situation. Ray Ray yes. beats out the fan favorite clockwork. Yep. And they it hit live, live and direct. They, they will definitely get their medals of honor, but who's going to be hungry enough to go get the championship? And, you know, Insane, he's the up-and-comer in this game. He's got clean, surgical precision, and he's really able to execute a game plan. That's why he's called Coach Steve. But his weakness might be experience and or unorthodoxy as far as this game is concerned. But Ray Ray, man, he's the aficionado. He is really, in my opinion, the professor of the new school. He has this magneto that is just out of this world. Yeah, man, he knows how to control the ground 100%. I haven't seen... I haven't missed a situation where those drones are down the magnetic glass in play. Exactly. And everyone goes in the air. He's one of the ones to push the envelope with max damage combos. And he's got these deep, branching, incoming character mix-ups. He's really just a master at this game. He really understands it. And like you said, he burst onto the scene with this game. So he doesn't have any of those old habits that die hard. This is his game. This could be his tournament. But he's got oh so much work for, cut out for him coming through the loser's bracket. I want to see... This is going to be my favorite of the night, I think. I think. Hopefully, they both at their strongest so we can have a good show. I don't want to see a lopsided match. So mm -hmm. here we go. We get in the popping. Every year, I do a dream top eight. You know, uh, just who I would love to see every year. Ray Ray's in my dream top eight. Dreams do come true. Evo go. 2014. Let's go. And, then, and mind you, this is Ray's second second Evo. Sec second time to charm at this point. But this All right. is Insane's first Evo. He made the top eight. Wow. So that's a good look. For, that's for, amazing. But Beef Protect, he's on his same. So here we go. Control Ray Ray. Taking on Beef Protect. 
thing. That Nova Spencer, man. I'm a big fan of the uh, of the Galactic and the Dreadlock. Don't like Doom too much, though. Big fan of the grown man damage. Yes, sir. Let's go. Here we go. Both of these players do too. It's excellent. Okay, here comes the here comes the beam. It's the beam play. All right. So basically, what you're gonna see here, Steve, is the counter goal game. All right. Who's gonna get the control first on the ground so they can take advantage of the and of course. It is Ray Ray right now. The mobility won out, and he had the drones behind him. I think that was a miscue from Insane, that dash down. He really didn't expect Magneto to traverse the gap so quickly. He's in there, and he's going to finish this play. Now, here comes this ambiguous nonsense that Ray Ray is known for. Uh -oh. That's what we're talking about. It's not over. Nice. Perfect push block. Yep, yep. Look like one frame push block, too. Those are what make, those are what make the perfect. Still got a block. Didn't go up for the air grab, and again, the defense holds strong for Insane. All right, all right. This is actually kind of hard for Spencer when the drone is in play. Yeah. So it all depends on how Insane is going to call his assist against Ray Ray. Spencer, the ground-based combo. Looks like he wanted to snipe the assist. Looks like he got him a good 60% on Sentinel. Oh, nice punish. I like that. Hello. Oh, my God, no. Nice tagging. The optimal stuff. Who's going to get him here? This is optimization station play here from Insane. He can execute a game plan. Don't give him an opening. Oh, man, here it comes. Eric Benet, a.k.a. Nathan Spencer. Coming here with the shenanigans. Watch this, Keith. Where is he going? Coming right back in. Right to the front. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 80K. Oh, oh. One more for the road. Here we go. He can't really do it. He got the hard drive. Ooh, Watch that could have got up here. It's back to yup. Oh my god. I love the fade away jump around house. The cross up. Try to get another. Right now, saying if we really wanna. If we really, yeah, he gotta keep this in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Nice, he nice. read that, he faded it. He's gonna get punished. Ray Ray. No, it's a good trade-off. Good trade-off. I'd rather have Spencer than Anna against Sentinel, actually. He's gotta deal with this incoming character mix-up though. It's just Sentinel. Not too scary, but he's X'd up. Do not zip. You have to do it patient and saying you gotta stay in there. Do not zip. That is what Ray Ray is sniffing. He's so patient right now, and he got the tech. You gotta find a way to get under there. He's out of there. He's out there. He got, he got up the there. hit. What? Oh. What kind of clutch is coming out from Coach Steve? Coach Steve is looking excellent right now. Oh, 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 oh! I cannot believe that he went for that iteration of the of the, of the zip zip. That's actually you can actually miss that in certain situations. This guy's got such presence of mind. It's like he doesn't feel any pressure. Just remember, you got to go hard or go home. That's what it's about here. He's going so eight. hard right now. So hard. The shield placement, the slow man shield looking good. See what I'm talking about, the uh -huh. control? Uh-huh. So Ray Ray, Ray Ray don't want to call the drone, so he can call the with the beam, so right. he's going beam for beam. This time it was the beam out first. Ray Ray tried to go in, so Insane was forced to super. Oh my gosh, see what I'm talking about, Ray Ray knows how to force him in the air. Really methodical neutral game. Even though it's so fast paced, you're explaining it beautifully, man. Yo, man, this, ah, I love this game. This went low! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, here comes the tag. Game. Hello. Flex your cape, Doom. Oh my goodness. Two boots. Oh, oh, two boots. Here comes that tag. Game. Who we bringing? The grown man. Oh, he went for a grab. He was actually trying to grab him before the jab and the oh, game okay. But it was a good uh, uh, delayed push like that by Ray Ray. Good stuff. Good awareness. He said he, he really believes in delayed push blocking. You see how strong it is when executed perfectly. Right now, Insane is at a great position. Okay, good snipe out there on the Sentinel Drone. Insane is looking like a new man right yeah, now. Yeah, and he's staying so mobile. Doom can't get in there. Ray Ray's still in there, though. He's trying to get that position. He's trying to apply that pressure. But Insane is out of there. It's just a lot easier to deal with a mobile Doom and drones than it is Magneto. And now the control from Insane is all over the place. No pun intended, sorry. Yep, yep. It's all <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. It's all good. It's Sentinel all in the good. back. He's, he's getting hurt. It. He is sniping it perfect. Oh, good one is there. No. Double overhead, triple, and he's still blocked. Good block. Oh, my God. This game is bananas right now. It's so fast. How are these guys defending? I'm telling you, man, they're very familiar with their gameplay. You know what's crazy? Every time I do see them play each other, they always advance their tech and their movement. They're like pushing the game forward. These guys, these hungry youngsters. These are the youngsters. The new age boys. Oh, that would have been completely safe too. But oh my God. Oh, the new age boys with the knowledge of the game. Only got a rocket punch, but it's still get a follow up air grab. 
trying to save his hop. He got 25. Oh my god, good punish. He should have hit the S then sit, but it's okay. Double jump, nice. Oh my god, this is this is dangerous right here for Spencer. Oh my god, he missed it. Oh, it's time. Yo, Nathan. Nathan from Ray Ray. Almost oh. got himself clipped. Oh. If he was close enough, that actually would have hit. Yeah, uh, it would look like it was just off yeah. off the mark. Jump ACS right next to uh, Sentinel White's dunk, dunk combo. It does change, but he, he was too far. He needed two dashes instead of one, yep, and the push blocks, again, proved to uh, serve Ray Ray well. This is true. Oh! Seven seconds on the clock. It's not enough. It's not enough. Not the best he could do right now is snap in Dr. Doom and try to get some damage. In. Yeah. I won't do it. He tried, he tried, he One tried. game to one now. Oh, look at that salt. It's all right, Doom. You'll get him, you'll get Doom this time. <laughs> one apiece. It's an East Coast battle here at Evo 20, 2014. Oh, that was the air grab. Oh, but Connor's right back. Control Ray Ray going to work right now. Oh, nice tagging. Optimization station. These guys know how to maximize. They squeeze that count immensely, so there's no milk left. And it's not just knowledge to do that. It's harder, man. Yeah, man. The hit stun scaling starts ramping up, and you're really living on the edge sometimes. Yeah, they're not about the basics. They're about the, the efficiency. No, they don't want that bread and butter. You know what they want? That meat and potatoes, baby. Oh my God. Hungry men right here. And that thing got opened up. That offense for Ray Ray is disgusting. It is looking good. Here it comes. Here comes the drone. We got to take most. Oh, no, we got Destructor. Oh, okay, nice backup. I see why he did that. He got that triple team on standby. They were very aware of the situation. Zane just needs to be careful and keep his back out of the corner. As long as he puts Ray Ray to the wall, comeback is possible. Yep, and that's why he's staying right here at this part of the screen. Let's jock in for position over top of each other's heads. Cross up. Can he get him? Oh. He wanted to, did he want the delay to get back to the other side? No, 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 no. I think he just missed. I think he was surprised that he hit him. Right? Okay, oh, all right. He usually goes for that setup for a block trick and then try to like. Ah, right, uh, right. Surprise, surprise like yeah, yeah. It happens, especially yeah. in a game this fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. That snipe out. He is sniping out Doom every time. And Ray Ray's aware that that's what you see more than instructor in his gameplay. Yeah, nice. Little bit, bit, bit of a delay to ensure the launch hits. He's going he go, he go blend them right now. Oh no, we're going to keep it simple, even better. He knows what time it is. We are in the grand stage. This is Sunday, the finals. What an honor. It doesn't even matter at this point, man. I want both of them to make it. It doesn't <laughs> even matter. I just want to see some good action, and I'm seeing it. It's not, even, it's not free for, for nobody right now. No, this situation is the dangerous thing. It's the most dangerous. Ray Ray's up two. So it seems one. So it seems definitely got to make better clutch decisions than Ray Ray right now. Mm -hmm. He's so good at it when he gets the opportunity. I love insane, but I hate these colors. No, no. You don't like the doo doo brown? Nope. Not at all. Too much pumpkin. It's okay though. Shop a lot. Shop a lot, if you will. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fight! at all. Magneto's on the move. Once he gets the set up, he'll be able to come in with the advantage. Insane wants to hide behind that shield, and again, as you said, counter call the drones and, and clip the approach. Right now, Ray Ray's winning the counter call game. Most definitely, you can see Dr. Doom has been getting blessed. Yeah. Oh, man, he got hit. An extra damage off of uh, what would have been a mix up. Man, that sandwich, that sandwich gameplay right there from Ray Ray. He's on one side with the yep. rush down, a drone's coming the other. He might do it again right now. This is what I was talking about, those deep branching mix-ups. Beautiful push blocks necessary. Oh my god. Yo, Mac, Mac. Oh, we in there. You got him. Nice cat! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Eight! Okay. The oh defense god. from insane is insane! Oh. oh, he did push block. No snipe out there from Insane. He usually snipes it out, does the up command. Oh, oh he's out of there. That's the knowledge between these two players. Yep, yep. What, what is a, a sick mix up, but that's just a 50 50. Oh, nice cat. Oh my god. He got to back away. Nice evasive maneuvers there. Yeah, yeah, and he got the drones up high, but they're still out again. Strength of the drones. Good block. Right now, Sane is getting a, a little too overzealous. You gotta relax. There we go. Nice snipe out there on the Sane. Had to oh, back, up. back to the original side after the activation. What are you? What am I seeing? 
That's a lot of high level action. Like, oh, good snatch there, Ray Ray. Caught him sleeping, most oh. definitely. He's still not over for the same, he though. He needed to seize the momentum, and he did it. Oh, hit him with the back in this case. Zones were behind him, but he didn't get the hit that he was looking for. This is definitely not over. Oh, beautiful setup right here. Insane, very aware, though. Incredibly tough position now for Insane. See that synchronization here by both players? Yeah. Oh, nice punish. Oh, man, he's sniping out those drones. He can stay at the top of the screen, avoid the drones, and even if he's uh, lucky, get a little bit of damage. But that's only going to get him so far. Yeah, he needs real some, damage. Insane got to make some drastic decisions. Yeah. As you can see, we got 25 seconds on the clock right now. That was a mistake. Definitely was a mistake. Now that sucks, but you know what? It's not over. Yeah. What am I saying? As a result of him being overextended, it sometimes gets to your uh, to your execution, and that was a huge chance, just a hair off of the snipe. Oh, that would have been a good cut. Player one wins. I'll do it. And insane has been eliminated by controls. Ray Ray. I know he wanted to go farther, but you know what? Insane, you made it, baby. You definitely made it. Ray Ray. Moves on. He played People so well. And he People had perhaps I think the moment of the night last night with that uh with that Spencer kill on Neo's Phoenix to qualify for the top eight. But his road will end here at seventh here at Evo 2014. So but like good. you said, man, first Evo, first top eight. He got his medals of honor, most most no doubt. It's you know amazing. what I mean? It's amazing. So shout out to Coach Steve. I'm hailing for you, baby. You Take it back to the East Coast. This definitely, this definitely won't be the last of Coach Steve, so stick around, yo. We'll regroup. <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to take okay. a quick break. We'll be right back. Check out the mates. Damn, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> it was pretty hot. That looks like a bad matchup for the humans right there. <laughs> we'll have to see. All right. Coming off of that hype, we are back. Yep. Evo 2014, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, top eight. We're down to just four competitors left. Now what? Uh, now look what we have here. The champion taking on Chris G. And mind you, last year, uh -huh. Chris G had Locker's number, no doubt about it. Uh -huh. So you can kind of... Lock, I know he was very relieved last year that he didn't get to play Chris G on his road to success to be a champion. Uh huh. But now he is... He cannot duck this this time. He is fighting GG Chris G right now. It looks like Chris has got about a 64% win percentage playing against Flocker. Oh, yeah. They've had a lot of encounters. The last time they played at Apex 2014, it was Flocker that took it to Chris. But in the last five oh, encounters man. before that, Chris G with a 3-0, a 5-2, a 3-1, a 3-0. And I was there for all of them. All so right. I don't know. All right. Now, here we go. Now, this is this is a good team for Chris G. It's Zero May Cry. Should have went with the, uh, with the zero versus the Hawkeye against Justin, but it is what it is. As you can see, Chris G is a little more shot to throw those fireballs. Right on. Because of the jam session. Nice. Corner confirmed off the air grab. Ooh, Team Mario counter exclamation point. Go get it, girl. Now Fock is forced to press. Oh, good hit there, but the missiles. One missile. Literally, just one missile. All right, here we go. We got to set up over there. Yes, we will. Nice try, but right into a fireball. Now Chris is going to get to set Double up. Trigger. We out of there. Now Chris has got to watch for those teleports. They can't counter the uh, the soul fist spam. Nice to avoid the missing completely. I like that. Ooh. He's just a blocker still, even after being put into the losers bracket. He's looking good this Sunday, but he's just run up against two of the toughest opponents. Justin first, now Chris G. So right now, what, 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 what he wants to do with Dante is be about middle of the screen in the air and chuck fully charged air plays. They'll really help. And Chris G, real, real aware of that because he's trying to approach and rush down to Dante. Oh, he's having such trouble dealing with these missiles, though. Might get a mix-up. Classic mix-up? No. You're getting a combo. You might get a, a side KC. There it is. Wow. He, he called it. Yeah, yeah. He wants to. He wants to remove all resources of that Virgil. Hey, man, you're an Evo champ yourself. You got. You still got it. You know, you still got little it. Some, little something. Still got you know, it. You know. I'm very Chris aware about the situation. All right. That's all why right. we had you here. We live. I'm here with the Warriors. Okay, let's get it. We here with the Warriors. Which side to block? Missiles. You don't have to block anymore. 
We might get the block right Yeah, here. he might get the natural. Oh, but there what, is no what a back and forth play. Chris G seizes the advantage. Both guys forced to use their X Factor there, but Chris G took to the initiative, found the hit, oh, eliminates man. zero. Not good. There it is, cross up Helmbreaker, but the missiles and the swords will play a bit of a spoiler. That, this is definitely one of uh, uh, Chris G's aces in the hold of Virgil yeah. Doom Shell. He loves that cross up Helmbreaker. You're going down. I believe you, man. I believe you. There is such safety in this shell, and that's what Chris G wants to do. He wants to slow down the game, and he doesn't like dealing with all of this crazy rush down that everybody can throw at him. Yeah, yeah. That's why his win percentage is so high, man. He controls the match yeah. literally. He can make the game so different than everyone else has to play it. And this is the one thing, too. We already know Morgan and Dr. Doom's shell is very powerful. But what really makes it shine is that a lot of these new players don't really know how to deal with real zones. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you got a couple of people that have, are, are really experienced, but this is too powerful. This is out of this world, though. You know, this is world. the next level. Patience is one thing, but you're going to be sitting there getting ping-ponged all day. And for full screen, if you just get clipped by once, you can take 50%. Christy, sometimes 60%. All right, again, trying to get rid of all resources. Locker has not picked up on it yet. Nice and simple. No meters wasted. Nice. Wow. Nice. Oh, this is a bad position for Dante. Everything going Chris G's way right now. Chicken this, guard. This is why as a Dante player, I always start him off first. Yeah. He cannot get in the match safely at all. The chicken guard looks pretty strong against Morgan. She only has a standing light. It's that missile game, man. The missile game. The missile placement by Chris G is too potent right now. Looking guard and ain't enough there. Too much pressure from Chris. Chris G right now is just, just wrecking the loose. He's in control. Yeah, he's, he's in complete control, control of the matchup. And because of that, defensively, he establishes control, but then he's able to seize the offense. And that, when he learned that, is when he became so much more dangerous. Chris G right now, his confidence is very high. After that loss yesterday against Mon, he is in prime position right now. He is focused to take another championship and put it on his shelf. And I, but I don't know, can he win the Evo is the question. It's gonna be tough. I love you, Warriors. That's why I'm here, man. Sorry for last night, y'all. I tried my best. Hey, man. But you know what? When it's not a win-win over there, it's a win-win over here. It's a beautiful thing. Very happy yeah. to be here with I'm you. I'm here man. with my man, Ski Sonic. This ain't the first time. Nope. Oh, Will not be the last time. Won't be the last. Yes, yes, indeed. Might now, be the Flocker. last one here for Flocker, though. What, what, what block? You know what? He got options. He could play Amy. He could play Dr. Doom. I would say the Rock, the Hawkeye. But see, you know what's the, what's the, what the, the confidence that he don't have is Dante up to par. It's not sharp yet. He, that is literally there as an assist. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So he's stuck right now. He's stuck right now. Will he pick the Hawkeye? Will he pick the jam session? Who knows? Will he kick off his sandals? I, I, Who knows? I, I, <laughs> I think Hawkeye is such a, a good signature character for him. The way he made that comeback last night, there's not a lot of other Hawkeyes. He could be bringing something different to the table and take Chris G out of his comfort zone. Zero May Cry is pretty uh, common. He could he could pull a scumbag move and actually rock the Morgan to himself, but he's going to the Zero May Cry. But what I would do is, in this situation, seeing how Chris G is so strong and mentally fit to handle the Virgil Slaughter, right? Uh-huh. I mean the Dante. He should actually uh start, rock. start Virgil. No, rock Virgil second. Okay. At okay. least he has an option and, and can and still be yeah. in Chris G. All right. But yeah, there are some zero day class practitioners that would do that. Like Cloud Flux. Right. Like that, yeah. Right on. It's a good option, really. That's in this situation. Doesn't get greedy. Yeah, Chris G. All first blood. He's gonna call that rabbit yeah. like this? No, he's calling a miss. It's what am I saying? Strategy from Chris G. Doesn't get greedy. Just builds himself up some meter. Activates the astral. And now the frustration game starts. See, I don't understand the call right there for the jazz session full screen. I think he's just getting the full thruster. Or maybe he wants it to heat up the, the fireball yeah. so he gets some breathing room. This is true. This Risking is true. his life. But that's his second character that he's risking life with. Oh, Locked God. down by the projectile spam. Never put her down. We got white boys left. Oh, no. They're brothers, oh, that's though. That. What are you doing? Okay. I like that. Oh, wow. Oh, it's my God. The DAC. Are you serious? That was ugly. All defensive. They angles. just <laughs> covered. They're all, all covered. They just <laughs> turned around. It went from yay to oh. 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 And 
Chris G is in control, man. The missile got his back. The Soul Fist got Fokker's back, and he doesn't want him. Force the X Factor. Oh, save him. Oh. I think you're right, man. Dante should have been second. He's X Factor with his second character here. He's quick, uh, gambling on this Dante virtual shell, and it's not getting him anything. Oh, man. Right now, Chris G is too powerful right now. He is definitely too powerful right now. And there you have it, folks. Much as I like there Parker. it is. There's the reset. And that is going to be the end of, of the our champion. champion. Wow. Make some noise to lock it up. But definitely make some noise to Chris G in dominant fashion. Really good stuff. In dominant fashion. Still here in the top eight. When Chris G dominates, he dominates harder than any other Marvel vs. Capcom 3 player. Give it up, though, to Flocka, man. Flocka looked great, but, man, just too much from Chris G. So check out what we have here, guys. This is the EVO merchandise on sale here in uh, the ballroom, and you can get your hands on it at evo.gaminggenerations.com. A wide plethora of EVO shirts this year. And if I do say so myself, they look better than ever. Yeah, they do. The, the, you see a pink one on the left? Nice, nice, nice family there. And then you could just add the icing to the cake with and I picked up the uh, the pink one for the baby girl at home. Me too, man. Oh! Me too. So you can definitely check that out now at evo.gamergenerations.com. They're actually right here with a beautiful boom too and a nice little thing. Nice, man. But here we go. Back to that top eight action. Right now, officially, I would say we're in the top five, right? Top yeah, five? Yeah, top five. Man, this top eight has four EVO champions represented. One TVC, two MVC3, and six, this is individual championships. One TVC, two MVC3, and six MVC2, of course, by the way of Justin Wong. And we still have two MVC2 champions alive. Man. No, wait, one. Let me see. Of course, Flocker's just out. We have this one. Filipino champ, actually. Yeah, he's he's got to be feeling like, sorry about that. He's got to be feeling right now that he's favored, even though he's got Obstacles like Justin, even though he's got obstacles like Chris G, he's in the winner's bracket and he's the only one of these guys that has the Marvel 3 win under his belt. Definitely champ is going to want to win against Justin. That way they can all be fatigued on the loser's side of the Oh game. yeah. The and if you can send Justin Wong to the loser's bracket, let's not talk about loser's bracket, Momentum Jay Wong. Momentum booster. But here we go though. This is the match right now. Control Ray Ray taking on Jan. New York versus Texas battle. Let's get it. Another, and another course, tough one. And of course, Ray Ray, very, very familiar with this fight. Guys like Bum back in New York. But it's a little different, though. We got we got the beam this time. Yeah. We got control, the high beam. He can control all the screen with that, but not for very long. Damn, that, that O-Ho's assist makes a big difference with Hulk on point, let yeah. me tell you. I mean, and it makes those team super so much more potent. Patience. Oh, oh, and he picked the, the right staggers. moment, but he messed up. He was charging down back by accident. Didn't want that. Got to confirm that, but not this, this basic combo. I guess there was too much scaling. Oh, my God. Jan is looking very scary right now. That is the world's most dangerous man, as I call him. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, good opener. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, looking to the right, then look right back to the left. Oh, don't know which way to block. He's looking left and right. Oh, my God. He dead. He dead. That's a big one. Oh, now. Oh, let me get that talk. Let me get that talk. Oh, no. With confidence. I like that. Right, now, let's see what we get with some Shumako Shum Shum rap. It's crazy. Now, the judge's not in the top eight, but we still got Shumako representation. He's still here. Really scary character. He's playing that zone out against Sentinel. Look like you fight Sentinel very well. He's respecting the uh, the approach that Shuma can uh, put out. Uh, definitely, Ray Ray's respecting the zone, the, the zone out, and the Hagar assist. Yeah. So you got to be careful right now. Yeah, this is basically a battle of the wear out. He wants to bait out. the Hagar assist, but the Hagar comes in with a tag. Barely, he just barely made it in. Yeah. Oh my God, I smell on the zone drop. It's coming. This pressure from Jan is getting scary, but Ray Ray goes right in, seizes the initiative. I think it's X Factor. Yep. He has to. He's a big body dude, Hagar is. He has a lot of life, so it's a good decision. If that combo is much too good, and he will get the kill here. Doom? Yes. Drones, back to the original side, blocks the overhead. Oh my God, Dan. Dan actually could have been smashing light right there. Would have yeah. got him. Yeah. Oh, 
Damage on Sentinel in the back. Got him. Good snipe out. Oh, good. Good tool there. This is definitely putting a little stop into uh, Ray Ray's strategy. Yeah, but he can chill at the top of the screen without much to worry about. Sentinel gets out of there. Now the issue here, 15 seconds. Who's got the life lead? Oh it's Jan. God. It's oh. definitely Jan now. Pin out of it. Jan looking good right now. He can run now if he likes. He's going to go to him. He's going to go for him. The fadeaway jump around house. Ray Ray special. Oh, he's got to run. Don't get clipped. Don't get hit. Will he flink the time? Almost. Oh, he grabbed what? it. It is counted as a command throw, actually, by the way. I can't believe he grabs him there. I could be wrong, but command throws get beaten by regular grabs. So it's I definitely faster startup because it's an actual attack animation. Yeah, 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 so yeah. he's definitely just threw him out of it. A gutsy call, but perfectly placed. He's the professor of the new school, man. The yeah, man. Ray, Ray. aficionado. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is where Ray Ray wants him. But he's still got to respect this sad big because he got the Hag assist on standby. He got Hawk clean. Hagar wasn't available, so he knows to go in. Oh, he's going to finish this play, definitely. Oh, oh them jabs. Them jabs. I like that. Put some extra little damage in there. Oh, he's going to finish him off. Doesn't want to give him any meter. Yep. It's that top base situation, man. Trying to get to those finals. See how it works out for him. Still gets a mix up. Oh, my God. This is so cheap. Jesus. How do you block that? Lucky, lucky for Jan, he actually saw where his character was coming out yeah. of. Yeah. Didn't quite work out how Ray Ray wanted it. It would have been even dirtier. But Ray Ray still really complacent with. Oh! Into the Lariat! Didn't expect Ooh. it! Ooh! Good awareness there by Jan. There was a lot of situations that happened there that just worked out. Oh, that's that yeah. bad decision. There you go. Very bad decision there by Chan. Yeah. And he's gonna do that to kill some of that X-Factor time. Smart move. He's trying to give him no opportunities, no extra meter, no nada. Well played from Ray Ray. Chan's definitely still in the game right now. Oh, Ooh, legs. He was trying to up back again, trying to take the disguise. All right. For the Warriors? I'll just make it simple. Okay. Should have got for it at least. Even if you would have missed, could have recovered in time and done something else. A lot of respect. It's the Evo 2014, and he's it. only up one game. This Maybe a game later. Ocho. What? Oh wow. The wow. reese from Jan. How does he know? That was that was that was good for Jan, but definitely bad for Ray. Oh, oh! son. Come on, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, he punched that one eye. Really, really strong. Jan has some Shuma tech. He almost followed through there. Would have been able to take Sentinel. Ray Ray in prime position once again to move on to this tournament. But let's see if Jan got something to stop this. Again, he's the wall, creating the fortress. Gets under via the drones. Respects the Hagar. Oh my goodness. I respect the defense here, but can he block forever? Respecting the Hagar, but Jan knows that he's respecting, so he's taking the opportunity to not call Hagar and seize the initiative with a, with a mystic stare. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. The counter calls is pretty good. For yeah, it's, right now. it's a mental game going on. The calls that you don't see on the screen are really coming into play. But Ray Ray with that experience and the big bodies, let me tell you, he knows how to fight these big guys. Oh, it's over for home. I'll see you in the Avengers movies, Hulk. Maybe, oh my God, kick confirmation. Oh my God, I would have been sexy. Especially on the normal job. It's kind of hard, but it would have worked out for the left. That is just something. Really good push blocks from Ray Ray. You want to push block Shuma, he can jump cancel his attacks and cross you up from just a normal ground strength. So Ray Ray doesn't want to deal with any of that. Oh, went up for the grab, I think. Couldn't get him oh, cooked by Hagar. Jan, Jan, come on, baby. You're not looking too dangerous right now. A lot of drop. Well, Ray Ray knew exactly how that was going to work out. Jan forced to burn the X, and it's fading fast. Slow playing it now. Hello, damage. You got to do it now. He's going to take out at least the Thrones assist, so Ray Ray will not be able to lame it out as easily as he might like to. It's true, can't, can't have too much control of the screen now. Excellent decision right there by Jan. 
Classic. Gotta get the block. Oh he didn't get the block. God. Look at the damage. Hagar jump. Whoops. Oh, oh, oh. Boop. Hey, boop. Hey. One way that you can say goodbye to a character. Jan Anglin on a comeback. I spell it expect grab right now. Oh, a grab. Oh, Jan, one step ahead. Spin the win. Spin the win. Well, we got a reset. I think we might get a reset on TAC. But Hold Doom on. can air dash. It's just true. He's just oh, going to ground him. He's just trying to put the X back to top, which I like. Okay. What? Could he have got one more drop kick there? Now, what is Ray Ray going to do? Jan right now. He's going to get jammed in the head. I thought he was down and out, but he came back. Put one on the board. The world most dangerous man is still there. Let me see if Hulk gets, gets, gets busy this time around. How does Jan make these Hagar comebacks? That's not supposed to happen. That is Jan. He got a, he got a bright, a bright, uh, uh, a mental. His decision making is out of this world. Ooh. It's what's carrying him this far. Good awareness there by Ray Ray. Knew that the beam was coming. Yep. He was focused on Hulk instead of dodging the beam. Yep. He got the grab. Good stuff. We got a TC to the side. It must have been. I hope I was right. We'll never know. Thank you guys. Thank yeah. you, Capcom. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Get him. Now, Hagra says get him a lot of mileage right there against this Magnus fight. It's so strong against any Tri-Dash character, Magneto included. See, I don't know why Ray Ray's not taking the Filipino champ before. We saw what happened early on yeah. at the beginning of the winter side. He got lamed out completely. Yeah. It's really not Ray Ray's style, but yeah. it's Evo. Way to win. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Nice break. The awareness of these guys is incredible, man. He's trying to bait the Lariat, but Jan won't bite. And when he finally does, he's safe. X Factor to safety. Good play from Jan. Good turn of events there from both players. Nice sequence. Oh, he's going to miss. Wow, oh, he, he thought he was going to get Shuma. Wow, he didn't he got get her. Wow. Him. It. <laughs> I love the spacing. The usage of the jump almost. They seem so bad when this game first came out, but Ray Ray really shows how Sentinel can be played and, and uh, utilized to uh, maximum efficiency. This is looking potential. like a classic set, set uh, team row action right here. Yeah. That Sentinel with that beam. And he does the little row style combos with a rocket punch and a magneto beam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good catch. I thought he was gonna miss that nice break. Not over yet. Trying to get that fuzzy, but good chicken guard right there. Instead of overhead, I mean, excuse me. Ray Ray slow playing and trying to chip out Hagar, really respecting that Lariat. He needs to get close, make the Lariat, and be able to punish it, but Jan won't bite anytime he gets close. See? And the safety just wow. barely safe. Just barely. Is that, that, the Sentinel, he just moves so slow in the air that once he goes away, Jan knows he can swing. Wow. That was really ballsy there by Ray Ray, but it worked out. Caught him with a boost. Gave it to him. Literally did the street. He did standing jab into the das boots, and it connected. He caught a couple of them from GC Yoshi last night on his way here. He might have taken some lessons. So that was a slugfest. I like that match. Shout out to Yoshi. But in the meantime, slugfest. Talk about slugfest. We got pipe. Oh no, that's not a good look. He could have got the kill, even either the kill or get the lead. It's not over yet. If he just, he just, if he just. Does damage to Doom. He's gonna do it. He's got it. He's got One. it. He won. He That's it. Two wow. games to two. Oh, bad decision there by Ray. Should've just ran away, but Jan is a nice break. He's aware of everything right now. He keeps snatching matches with Hagar. Wow, man. This is, we going to the, there we go. He's taking a breather right now. Magic matches out of the clutches of these top players' hands with Hagar. If you think back to three years ago when we saw Hagar, it was it was a dead match. Game was over. But these guys, these Rama Sama, these Jans. Now we're in a one-game situation for both players. Let's see what's going to go down. Who's going to advance and who's going to watch? Ray Ray with the read gets the block. A little bit of damage on Shuma. Oh, he's looking more, more vicious now. Damage on Hagar. Jan's got to be careful now. He's got those magnetic sonic bones in play right now for Ray Ray. Signature, signature gameplay right here. Full screen assist calls. Both guys playing safe. Anglin on an approach. Ray Ray. He sees the Shuma come out, so he knows he can go in because there's no threat of Hagar. Yep, yep. 
Look at this confirm right here. Oh, up, up this time. Will he drop? He might just knock it down like he did last time. Yeah, there it is. is. Level three. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We can know you can, we know you can do it. So let's just finish it. Finish your food and Ray Ray's a fast eater. Waiting down on Hagar, but Hagar wasn't available. He could have went in. Yeah. Well, he was definitely. still on cooldown. That's how much respect Ray Ray is giving to the Hagar, getting a little bit ahead of himself. Yeah, yeah. But right now, he's just trying to let Jam make all the mistakes now. He's in a prime you know, position right now with all that help. Doling out the rope, and he's trying to let Jam hang himself. Ooh. Jam with the attempt to snipe out the, the Sentinel system. It wasn't close enough. Oh, there it is. He could have sniped him. Hiding behind the drones. Now a little bit of the F champ magic. I know, the, I know the crowd's like, no, don't do it. Yeah, he doesn't. He won't do it. He's an offensive player, and he'll find this spot to go in. Uh, he's doing the max damage. You know how usually yeah. they do the uh, the fierce one and just hyper yeah. grab. He's he doing the one with the S. That's hard. Now he's doing the heavy S. This, this, he's making a statement right here. Oh, okay, oh, man. what a conversion! That's what we're talking about from Control's very own Ray Ray. He'll move on. Uh, Ray Ray advances. So that's a guaranteed fourth place right now for Ray, right? I'm pretty One, sure. two, three, four. Only yep, yep. four players left. Oh my goodness. And are we going, are we going straight to it? We're going right into it. And this right here is, we, this is no surprise right here. We have seen these two play each other. As you can see, Ray Ray nodding his head. He knows he's going to be in a tough hill right now. Stop. The mountain keeps getting taller, and if I'm not mistaken, we got, what's trending? Chris G, Ray Ray, trending? We're trending at Evo, baby. Fill up the Twitter. Tweet it out to everybody you know, your mom, your dad. I know they use everybody. Twitter, and everybody. you don't want to follow them, but you follow them. Go ahead and tell them right now. Tune in to Evo. Get this thing trending. We now want hundreds of thousands you've of viewers. Seen this million times yeah. from the battle crushes. To the, uh, the, the, the battle circus. They were the battle crushes. crushes. You could call them battle crushes. The battle crushes. crushes. <laughs> they were crushes. I mean, what was Chris G? The 15, 16 week running champion? And Ray Ray was the guy that was in the grand finals a lot of those times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray Ray has gotten respect with me before, but Chris G definitely went the upper hand. So yeah. I want to know. What? Us. Actually, the last time they faced was at USGT, and Ray Ray did win. He did win. It's UFGT and then and there's to the grand right finals. Right about that, and it was a 3-0. According to our stats, it looks like Chris G is about 66% over Ray Ray. That's a pretty high percentage, but like you said, what matters perhaps a little bit more is what the last match was, and he 3 0 him at UFGT. And no, I had a talk with uh, Chris G once he uh, left the tournament, pretty much we spoke, and he said he actually slept on Ray Ray. He okay. thought it was going to be free. And it's been something that bit him, and oh, he lost well, that. That's a problem. See, you can't feel safe at the end of the mountain, at the top of the mountain. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. These guys are crawling their way up there. They're trying to take you down. Now, here we go. Wow, nice confirm there. Nope. Try to get a finish there. Nice awareness there by Chris. That's what's up. Look at that movement. Staying above her head to screw up the soul, play, uh, the soul fish inputs. Beautiful. Dr. Doom. One more call. One more bad call there by Chris. He's doing me. Good die. But lucky but fortunate for Chris, Ray Ray don't got the meet up, but he got it now. Yeah. And Chris takes the turn, goes in with the weakened doom to let him read the uh, reveal. Overhead as soon as he hits the ground. He's too strong, man. Oh, he's out of there. Will he punish? Oh, he got he getting the doom. He's getting the doom. Missiles. Dolphins, missiles. And I like how Chris G's doing it. Chris G's very aware of Ray Ray's strategy. He's trying, he knows that he's trying to kill his doom. Uh -huh. So he's advancing forward now with the missiles yeah. to keep Ray Ray in check. Protecting the assist. Damn girl, you're so deadly. Wrong as doom gets out. It's a victory for Chris G. Missiles up, doom's out. Oh my God, you know what? I've seen this many times, but I've never seen it in the grand stage at Evolution. Ray Ray's got a tall mountain to climb. This ground doesn't look like it's oh going to be his. Oh my God, the air grass king. This man knows the, the weather. Yeah. Every, he knows when the wind is blowing north, south, east, and west. He can he feel it in his bones. How the air grass. Oh, wait a minute. He can feel it in his bones. Might have spoke too soon. 
You know, I will go for a snap. You, you can't kill, I'll yeah. go for a snap to do him right now. I think snap is best. Snap is best. He'll get the most damage. Oh, no, he's going to go for the Doom only combo. We might have forgot about that. Oh. Oh. He tries to play it so hard. Just like we said, he goes for max damage. He pushes the envelope. But right there, it got closed. And it's I crazy. definitely would have snapped that Doom, man. Yeah. And we're gonna say way to take 60%. Yeah, and Ray Ray should be confident in his incoming mix up, which is crazy. He has too many. Yeah. That means she should have she should have took the shot there. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Game number two. Oh, good start. Oh my god, good start. With the open oh! up! Zach Mac, who's there, is my overhead. Did not let the defense get started. Ray Ray, right in his face first. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> super, super, super. Oh, what a good position here. Can I bring in, oh, Dr. Doom? I respect that. Expect what? The awareness. Chris G. And he avoids the drones via that defensive play. Oh, City K, you bastard. <laughs> How dare you leave this poison to us? He released that technology onto the world, and it's been different ever since. Oh, my goodness. Chris G. Looking excellent right now. We pulled the trigger. Oh, but we out of there. We gonna get an extract. Definitely. Has to. Oh, he's in. Good, Good push block. There. Definitely don't want Virgil next to you. You can do the jump jab into the helmet breaker. Yep. That is the combo. Oh yeah. Gets it up again. Nice, nice. I like that. Good use there. The roundhouse bomb. Yeah, and he protects against the teleport that way. Quick block. Just barely recovers, and now he's going in. Man. Christy, the master of the air grab. You no, know, I'm telling you. He's like, the wind is coming from the west this time. You can feel it. But, but it's still in there. It's a fair fight right now. Virgil yes. really can, don't have uh, a lot of options. Two kill Sentinel. Chris is respecting the Hyper Sentinel for us. The armor just going in slowly. But he Ooh, jumps in the air. Doesn't catch. respect the invincibility. Still going for the aircraft. Now that the meter's gone. Ray Ray definitely got to stop. Oh, no, the meter's not gone. Okay. I'm looking at the wrong side. Sorry. So good. Ray Ray right now, he's, he's getting a little antsy. He's whipping up a, a little too much. Yeah. Gives Chris the opportunities for the air grab. Oh my God, just straight raw. That was really unfortunate for Ray Ray. His character just yeah, he killed. barely oh, switched positions. Oh yes, he can, he can. Yeah, just yeah, in time, wow. His character just landed in a, a really strange position right over the top of Virgil's head. It was really hard to see where Sentinel was gonna land and, and Chris got the better of it. Oh no, he lands the first hit. Oh, good punish there on Dr. Doom. Right now, that is what Ray Ray has to focus on. He knows it's really hard to catch Morgan with Magneto, so he's gonna have to hit the, he's gonna have to hit Morgan's back up right now. Come on, Magnet! Just waiting it out, trying to pick his spot. Oh, no meter to DAC out. I know that's what Ray Ray was looking for. Yeah, that's unfortunate. At least he's safe. Yeah. Oh my god. Four fireballs did the trick. Magneto is down. Dr. Doom, this is very difficult right here for Dr. Doom. It's going downhill very, very quickly for Ray Ray. Yeah, good decision there by Ray, though, using that plasma beam. That's the only thing that can cope with the fireballs in the air. And he can at least get up and get above the Soul Fist. He's still got to worry about the missiles, but they don't do a ton of damage. It's really the Soul Fist combos that hurt. Oh, good air grab, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man, this awareness is crazy here by Chris G. Chris G air, come fly the friendly skies, man. Oh my goodness, Four hang hits. in there. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. Come on, Ray. Hang in there, no. Shell kick was too fast for him. Just down to the x stuff robot. He's made this comeback before, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it here against Chris G. He won't die off of this, but he needs to guard the possible tack. No tack coming. Oh my god, this is nearly impossible for Seth. Doom! Hello! We got one, one down. at least, at least. One down. We got something going here. Oh my god, oh my god, no! One turns into six! Jesus Christ. Hang in there, Sentinel! One turns into four. Good night, Sentinel. Good night, sweet prince. Ray Ray has been eliminated. One of the fan favorites. You know what, Chris G advances, but tell you what, Ray Ray did the damn thing in this tournament. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, he made it really far. He made it about, I think as far as his fans wanted him to get, outside of, of course, taking a win, but everybody wanted to see him Sunday. Now, this is right here stand. is the match that I've been waiting for all night. Yeah? Well, who do you like in this? 
I'm obviously a fan of Justin Wong for obvious reasons. All right. Because he's marvelous. Yes. He and sometimes I don't like Chapman. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Chapman is actually one of my favorites now, indeed. This is what I'm interested because this is this is the, the whole game plan now, right? Okay. It's the control of the ground for Phil. I mean, control of the air for Filipino champ uh -huh. against the the awesome offense control of the ground game of Justin Wong. On the ground, he commands. It. So this yeah, exact. He commands it. He knows when to pick his spots and everything. Oh, shout outs to the homies over at Broken Ten. Look at that monster shirt. Get the Warriors though. <laughs> Super summer sale, fifty percent off. Free U.S. shipping on orders over fifty dollars. Forty percent off. Last chance clearance items. You want that? Visit our online store at brokenfree.com. The sale ends on the sixteenth of this month. So. Sounds good, man. I love those shirts. Right now, I'm wearing them myself right now. I got the Tiger shirt on. One of my favorites. Such innovative design from Broken Tier. Yes, sir. As you can see. Yeah, we hit, man. I'm having some fun. I see that ski signing in the building. We hit. I mean, fanning myself down, getting my katana on. The people's happy. They want to see this match as much as we do right now. It's the winner's finals, baby. Only three competitors remain. Justin, F Champ, and Christy. Could you ask for a more hotly contested top three and than Justin this? Justin Wong back in final situation. Remember last year, Justin Wong did damage to Champ. He did. To qualify to the top eight. So Champ is definitely looking for some revenge. Champ has said he feels he feels as good as this year as he did in 2012. Even better than last year. And he feeds off all of the hate. It fuels him and it makes him stronger. This is really a matchup of the hero versus the villain. Oh, nice drill ball placement right there. Okay, Justin Wong. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's bringing her in. Nice. Press the button there to interrupt Puma. That's what starts off on. Oh, man. Oh, man, chasing his head. Ski. Chasing his head. Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's, he's his opened head. his head wide open. Cracked open the cabeza. Oh, my God. He just barely skimmed off the edge of the claws there. Nice placement on the S. Champ resetting. Champ's still in there, though, looking excellent. Fighting back with that three-meter Phoenix, that confidence there by Filipino champ. Phoenix is on uh, rollerblades right now, so mobile. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. What Doom. Are the oh, Doom. Oh, my oh, Phoenix. God. Oh, what a standing roundhouse finish. Wow. The instance. Oh, my God. This is not a good look for champ. When you have dominance like this from Justin Wong, and you have the crowd behind oh. you, nope. it, it's, yep. it's not a good look. He said he fuels himself off of the hate. It feeds him and it makes him stronger. But this ain't the hate. This is just the cheers for Justin Wong, and it looks like it's getting to him. Champ is back in, back in motion right now. Champ is definitely back in motion right now. Face control. He got the molecular shield right there just specifically for Wolverine matchups. Those magnetic sonic bones don't Patience. have the and he throws the dive kick, mid-screen snap, he just wants her now. Oh, good catch, Justin Wong. He's in his head. Oh, my goodness. He knows. Jay, don't do this to me, man. The don't mental do guard break is in effect. Oh, my God. Let's, 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 let's see, I'm about to scream, dog. I'm about to scream. This, this is looking nice right now. Oh. oh, off the mark. The push block pushed him away. Oh, my Another God. Another dive kick. Just he can exit. So just the will. Just the Wong. X-Men! Oh! Oh no, no, not like this. Not like this, man. Not like this, Ski. I, 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 well, it's gonna be 2-0. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like this. So Justin is just... You know what I'm liking about uh, uh, Justin's play right now? He knows that Ryan is looking for that Akuma assist call. Yep. So, He's not giving oh. it to him. So Ryan recognizes it and takes it to the offense. There we go. Nice. He stopped the combo early, so he stopped the meter builders nice. on Justin Wong's side. I like that. He is so strategic with his game, and he might make a fool out of you. The comeback is certainly it. possible. A quick overhead, and Justin just didn't see it. That's a mistake. Justin, he's got to be tapping himself on the head after that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What, what a comeback. He wanted to grab. Justin right now with that at base of Akuma. We've seen Justin in this situation many times. Critical push blocks, and he's avoiding the X, but it ain't gonna be enough! Good catch! What a comeback on three characters, Filipino champ. Good catch, champ! Okay, he answers back, kills some of that momentum a little bit. Yes!
He has to break the momentum that this crowd fires up for Dustin. Yeah. Will Justin pick the team that I think he's gonna pick? Oh no, that was Cam that did that. I thought Justin was gonna pick the the, the, the team he used last year to the big champ, which was the Spencer to the Frank West. Ah. But he's definitely sticking to the team children that he had him. He's confident with this team and he's come so far with it. He loves to play his own style, his own signature. He wants to put his own mark on the game that he plays. Yep, yep. He is the marvelous one, but this is the champ of the Filipinos, though. Almost an amazing oh arm off the straight hit. Champ using those doom rocks that as a uh, defense. That immaculate moment here by Ryan is what's making this match happen, what's making it difficult for Justin Wong. As you can see, what Justin is doing is he's trying to keep in pace with him at least. He knows he's not going to catch him, but he's trying to slip out that dodge out. When Champ, when Champ is corner to the wall, he's trying to bug it and bounce. He's trying to catch him. The Doom Rocks, though, they're making it so hard. Justin can't find a, a nice spot to get in there and get underneath him. That's why he's calling that World Win Assist. That yeah. World Win Assist goes right through those rocks. But it doesn't go full screen. That might be a problem. Oh my, yeah, that is a problem, actually. That's actually one of the reasons why Justin Paul is staying back there when he's calling the title. So Champ don't get an opportunity to pull the screen with yeah, him. Yeah. Forced to say, now the pressure is severely mounting to Justin. Oh, that would have been a catch for Jason. Man, he doesn't turn around in time. Justin taken out of his game plan right now. It's always very painful. It takes away a bit of your attention and you want to just be able to go in there, fire your game plan away. Defensive challenge, no confirm. Filipino champ is looking ridiculous right now. Well, he's in control. I know right now Justin Warren is busting a lot of sweat right now on his head. The movement, the angles, the control from Filipino champ. He's looking so good right now. He is flowing. This looks so annoying, folks. That high level play. Oh, oh my god, that was god like. The stagger on the dash is that Justin has to play flat, swat the fly right now. He's in there, he's in there. Just in one proposition right now. He's pushing him to the corner. And Champ gets out of there nice and smooth. Jay is getting lamed out right now. This is so rare. What Justin Wong do to people is getting done to him right yeah. now. Yeah, put it right back on him. Doom Rocks, a defensive rocks. Justin might have to think, consider how he's going to deal with this Doom Rock. Be it a change of strategy, change of assist. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Well, the champ blocks this. Okay. Okay. Two good guesses. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, there we go. That's through. He's got two. He's got two. And just like that, the momentum is shifted right back to Justin Wong. Five meters though for Filipino champ, so he's comfortably sitting on the dark field. The bird is in the oven, guys. He should snap. The bird is he's gonna cooked. snap. He's gonna snap. Smart move there. Trying to kill some of that time. Oh, he got it. He sealed it with this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, it's he not enough. It. He did, he did, it's he not enough. There's no time. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, if you could get a level three right now, exactly. Oh! Filipino oh champ, he had that comeback last night. The amazing comeback last night. But Justin. this time. Oh, oh I'm a, I'm a fan. Yo, Steve, I am a fan. I've seen this man battle for 11 years. He was two inches away from the comeback. Filipino champ will never say die. Oh, my God. Oh, oh he misses the die. The momentum. I'm oh, sorry, the drill. Good air grab. Should take advantage now. Will Champ kill this moment? Wow. Good guess. The placement on the storm? I'm calling it. I was down. I'm pretty sure I was down. Wouldn't be surprised. Look at how Champ is just traveling with the rocks. Wow. Oh, and good see, open up. You see how much stronger the rocks are in the ground game. Even though Justin's trying to make do with the Typhoon is in, it's just not enough. Oh, did he catch him? Did he clip him? Oh, oh. just in time. Wow. Worked out very well for Champ. He was committed to a button. Oh, the open up. Happy Boo Boo. Hey, chuckle. The storm will fall out. Jay's still hanging up in there. I don't know how Storm could catch this man, Mag Nash. She's not trying to catch him. She's just trying to hold down back, up, back, back. Any of the backs will do. No, he's definitely trying to get the momentum back on the side. He wants those two meters to so bring in Wolverine. Good grab. Oh, we might see the double TXT. I think it's worth it. He's going to kill. He's going to kill. Kill the mobility. 
going to kill the mobility. Yes, good decision here by Justin. He can slow things down now. He can take control of the tempo. Now, what? Wow, raw. He just S. missed off the mark. Champ recognizes it. Wow, Champ drops it. Rare, rare miss. Yeah. Is the Evo jitters? It might be. It might be. This is just it. Now, Justin Wong can manage to get two meters right now somehow. Oh, very nice from Champ. And the down. I respect that. He's already got five meters, but he got the hit. That was just what, what was important. Oh, nice cross up. Oh, Champ is taking this one back. Is Champ going to the grand finals? It's looking like it's going to be 2 2. How does Akuma kill Dark Phoenix and Doom? We do got demons. He might go for the 90% into the snap again. The time oh. looks like it will work out for him. But the full screen snipe caught Justin probably angling at a fireball, just trying to set something up. And we got two a beat, a two a piece. This is the winner's finals, Evolution 2014. The winner is so primed to take the tournament. Yeah, yeah, man. High level play right here from both players. These are both the two of, two of the most illest titans in the game right now. Along with Chris G, Blocker, PR Balrog yeah. right now. PR Balrog missing the next but that's okay. I know he's watching from the sideline, cheering on to his EG brethren. What is going to happen here? I think a lot of it is going to depend on the opening. If Justin can get that first five second hit, he's going to be able to snowball right through to the grand finals. Can't get it, evasion. Now well, Justin's gotta play it honestly. You gotta get a clean hit. He's gonna have to work extra hard. Oh my god, how was what are you? Whoa! He waited out the rocks. He knew that they were gone and he just went with the dive kick. He's killing the mobility, he's killing it. Oh, oh man, right. Momentum on Justin's side this oh, yeah. time. Firmly in his hand. This is the meaty. Champ gets some air to breathe. Swings and a hit. We might get the double THC once again. We might get a reset, depending on how greedy champ is. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for that double again. No, just goes straight down. Oh my not? lord. Just got the reads on Justin. If I was Ryan, I would go for the kill. Smart move. He has to. He has to. It's certainly worth it. I mean, Doom could die and get another meter in the process. That was an eye for an eye right there. High level play. I'm enjoying myself right now. What is T'Challa gonna do to pick the Von Doom? Oh, nice usage of the butter gun. I like that. Champ has got to be comfortable right now. The onus is on Justin. How do I get Doom down? How am I gonna take out Phoenix? This is that, that control of the screen that Justin Wall's trying to take over right now. It's this corner right here. Got him in the corner. Champ to mix ups. The whip high. The low misses. Quick snap after the push block to, the block to dive kick. He caught her. What can we get here? What can we expect? What's he doing? Now he's trying to bait out that tag. Oh, okay, he's baiting the tag. We got Doom back there. Good block! Wow, critical wow. block. Right on time. Oh my, wow! Brother confirmed! Wow. Well, 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 well. Oh, he drops it. Of course, this is evolution classic. He's looking for that Doom. He's looking for that Doom. Call him if you dare. Oh, good, good protection on the Doom with the teleport. Call him if you dare. I think he's trying to wear out the top. Oh, bad, bad move here by Justin Wall. Hold on. He popped there. He didn't want to do that. This could be it. No, he no. got it. Both of them. X Factor. And Justin Wall. Wow. He, he caught him again. He caught a mess. He did it again. He caught a mess. He's doing it. He did it again. Justin Wall. Oh my goodness. And it just happened so so quick. It looks like it might be his year. Grand Finals, Dustin Wong. Grand Amazing. Finals. He's back. He's back with another shot to take the seat. The clutch. And the people love it. I don't even want to look on Twitter right now. The Brazilians. The Mexicans. Oh. The Dominicans. Viva. Viva. Justin Wong, viva. Yo, long live Marvel, man.
Viva Marvel, 10 more years. Oh my goodness, wow. I was like, man, champ's gonna get it. And just like that, uppercut super goes right through the feathers and hits Dr. Doom. Give it up to Justin Wong. The momentum is certainly Justin Wong's court right now. He's got to be feeling it now. I would love to see it's some get, stats on the Evo champions, man. He's in got, It's getting hot in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm feeling it. Thank you for that air. No problem, brother. Fan you off, too, baby. Oh, my God. You guys got to stop killing me, man. Calm it down now. Got to get back into it. We got a real match right now. Oh, Chris man. G and Filipino champ. And champ, he's not even angry at that, man. No. That means an angry at that. I mean, he, he went for it. And uh, Justin with the turn. There was one answer for Justin there. Justin went for it. And he got it. Now, this is a classic rivalry right here. Let me tell you. Filipino champ taking on Chris G. Filipino champ being one of the only ones that can consistently beat Chris G in a tournament setting. Yeah, yeah. And now we here, we got half open up from the run back back 2012, right here in the top three. It's all, this is the losers finals. Evolution 2014. Three competitors remain, and after this first to three set, one of them's gonna go home. You are definitely looking at the three best in the world right now. These are your three Titans. I yeah, agree with that. Your, I you, agree. Got, you got your five quote unquote gods, which I wouldn't agree. I always call them kids. Uh huh. Because gods are unbeatable, right? Uh huh. But right now, these three are definitely Titans right now. I, I can agree with that. Jesus Christ. They got SoCal by way of New York. Chris G, formerly NY Chris G, but now, of course, living in SoCal. The Filipino champ, NorCal. We got an, uh, a West Coast top three, folks. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, all right. Let me get back into the game. 60% winning advantage on Chris G's uh, side. And he'll start with a happy birthday. How much damage can he get off of this? Well, get it. Just a conservative, 40% on mag, about 50 on doom, and Astro's up. Definitely champ has the mobility to avoid all of this nonsense right here by Chris G. This excellent fireball game. And he's gone with the, the rocks here. I don't know about that against Morgan. Wow, I didn't even really notice it, right? Wow. Yeah, it's his classic Dorm Doom shell though. The first time I saw him play this, I was amazed. Oh, it actually has more lever with the missiles. I don't understand. He's got a lot of meters stocked up, though, by Magneto's death, so he's going to be probably looking for a snipe. Hopefully he gets uh, Doom, but he wants more than anything. Nice grab. I like this. Wow. Well, 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 well. What have we here? I thought you only get one birthday a year. Right? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, no. Uh-oh. get it for Sam, though? Come back with your mambo. I don't know. Look, he's got a slim, right? Oh. A lot of chip. Chris just needs to stay strong on the defense. There's going to be a lot of chip damage that, but he can eat it. He can survive it. Oh, he wants a hit. Oh, he's out of there. He wants three characters. Oh. Good teleport and too quick for Doom to be able to DAC. Chris didn't see it. Yeah, you know what? Champion's been looking bad right now. Pick him up. Nice. Hello, and he'll get a level one after this. Is this enough? Well, he might, he might, he might just want to burn it anyway. I might want to burn it. He has no choice. Is she gonna promise us to get chipped though? Raw tag, even better. Great way to get her out. This is immaculate play though for Filipino champ. The sequence has been great, but it's just not enough. Great see, man. Them air grabs, a lot of mileage. But champ is still in there though. Yeah, Champ is still playing incredibly well. Coming Ooh, from behind. That was a good counter hit right there. Caught him swinging. Delayed the button just a little bit. He came out of guard star. Must have pressed the button. You dare to challenge the son of Sparta? Looks like it's getting the champ here. Oh my goodness. Now Ryan thinks he's about to collect himself. Will he be going to the same team? Yes, he will. One other team he does have in his arsenal, though. Of course, there's the, the Mambo Morgan Phoenix combination. I know you've seen that back in the past uh, tournament plays. Yeah. He uh, he played it a bit last night as well. Uh, I'm not sure who his last match was, but somebody beat on the way. He definitely played that team. Now, he's gone. He thought about the hidden missiles. He thought about it for a while. But eventually, he went back to the rocks. He uh, wants something for the ground game here. 
might be looking for that against Virgil rather than Morgan. And Doom, I'm sorry, Dorm is the answer for Morgan. Of course. I don't know, man. I think he should go back to the fences. I, I think it might serve him well, but he's, he knows best. He has the mobility to avoid the fireballs. He needs something in the air to keep Chris G in check, and it's definitely not happening on the ground. Camp is already down to 25%, 20 now. Wow, Dr. Doom is getting blessed right now. Oh, snap! Okay, here comes the truck car. This is what you need right now against Morigana. Nice. And he's in the corner. Oh, wow, rare miss. Another rare miss. Come on, not What's this. going on? Damn, not, this, not, not, not at this time, baby. This is evolution. And you're a champion, Filipino champ. It's time to get it together. Nice. Oh, wow. A lot of misses here by Sam. I don't know. Man. Yeah, he's, it's just not his game right now. Oh, by that G with excellent control of this match. Good blocks. Good air grab. Yeah, yeah. You know, Chris wanted to cross up with the missiles with the last missile hit while he was on the same side. Great recognition for Chance to go up and get the air grab. X Flag is on, on deck right now. It's, it's, it's moving. He's got all his health back. It's not safe up there, Doom. Victor. All right now, what Chris is going to do is just run out some of the clock and get some of that assist. Victor, no! What did you do to Morgan, Doom? I summoned the power. Oh, it might go under. Smart decision by Sam. Really smart. He set him up for that one. He knew he was going to DHC. Nice pushback. Keep himself in the air. Avoids the try dash. Defense is still staying there for Richie, but look at the rocks. Holding him down. Filipino champ. In control. It's safe to say that champ is going to win this one. Not really necessarily convincingly, but Chris G does not have the proper mobility right now. He's too catch champ. But it's Morgan, though. He's out of there. 19 seconds. Missile commands. 15 seconds. Not Whoa, the sick. damage he needs. He needs much more. And he'll get it. Now he needs something quick. You know what? As long as he blocks the Mambo, he doesn't call assist, he will win this round. Yeah, exactly. Like, he needs to quickly kill Dormammu or do a ton of damage and then snap Doom, get him in even faster. It ain't gonna be this game. Filipino champ decisions have worked out for him. Doom Rock. Well Doom Rock serves him very well here. <laughs> Entertaining entertain some of that crowd. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. Both of these guys have had uh, their uh, turns in the villain's chair. Yeah, but to, you already know who's the favorite right now to win. Everybody loves Champ now, I'll tell you that. Exactly. <laughs> He's a good guy, just for now. But for two more matches. Everybody roots for an underdog. And how often do you get to call Filipino Champ an underdog? Yep, yep. It's kind of hard to say sometimes who's going to win this, man. Like I said, Champ is one of the only ones that can consistently beat Chris G. Yeah. He's just so smart. He has all the tools needed to dodge all of these shenanigans yeah. right here that Chris G placed on the screen. The rocks are helping him out in uh, the fireball war as well. I wonder if he picked that because the rocks eat the fireball. It looks sure. like it looks like that might be it. I don't know if it's, it's probably not one rock, but he's still getting uh, some of the rocks off screen. It's helping him. Nice. Got out of there just in time. Good PAT. Take out a couple Ooh. hits of the durability. Good decision there by Chris G. Yep. Oh, stop. If you hit Dorm, stock and play disappears, so it just went at him. Might reset here. Nope. Going for the TNC and I'm smelling it up. Down. Oh, oh, I would have got, got hit. Wow, I have not seen Chris G pull one of these off in a long time. I saw Diamond in the years. You barely get to see this. You know? He's finishing the job with Morgan most of the time. Uh oh. Smart. It was worth it. Very worth it. He goes for the dimension slash rather than a sword. Um, slightly surprising there. He might have been a missed input. But no way back on Chris G stop. Now Filipino champ. Even though Chris G got the command to leave, but champ got all the resources to bring this right back. All three of those characters are very threatening X Factor characters for all different reasons as well. He needs to get out of there emphatically. Champ has a choice. 
Ooh. Which anchor he feels will do best against Chris G's team, but it'll do so much better if he can get one out first and narrow the options that Chris will have. He needs that assist, though. I don't know why he's in the DAC, man. So much damage, and he opens him up with a light. Chris G just gets too much money. Oh, level three, two point, everything. Yes. Really good. Okay. That's that Titan play right there, exactly I'm telling you. what you got to do. Presence of mind from Filipino champ. He x factor That made the pillar that was already on screen do more damage. So he got the kill. Yep, yep. Now we got 21 seconds on the clock. This is very, very Light doable. Up. Light him up. Light him up. He can't do nothing. He's on fire. Oh! oh the read! The read! He knew! He, oh! He's a genius. But he missed. drops the read of all reads. Oh. There's two kinds of geniuses, guys. There's, there's geniuses in the head, there's geniuses in the hands. He just lost a critical win right there. You that saw it on put his face. He actually said, wow. He's saying, wow. Wow. I, I can't believe he dropped that. I hit that a thousand times in my house in my boxers. Yeah. And I can't hit it on the face oh, yeah. right yeah. now. I look at Chris G, very aware too. He was in a in a very dangerous situation. Can Filipino champ do it? And I know right now Justin is sitting back comfortably waiting in the grand finals. I'm pretty, I'm, you know what? Obviously, for obvious reasons, I'm pretty sure he's more confident against champ than for Chris G. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. in a strategical standpoint, uh, yeah. he's rooting for Filipino champ. Yeah, right I, I, I'd agree with you there. I mean, everybody, nobody can be particularly uh, confident against Chris G. He's always a threat. Come on now. Going in behind the projectile. Gets him in the air. 40% already. Man, he lost. Wow. Another. Mayday. May Mayday. There we go. Smart decision. Man, get a little, get a little licks off of Dr. Doom. I like that. Good decision. This is hold him down. Champ has gone back to the missiles this game. And they serve him well in that instance. There we go. He's nullifying a lot of stuff now. Chris going in. Nice, the destructor. Tried to make the most out of that little life more again. Cross up, but nothing from Champ. We can chase safely Chip Doom like we saw before. All right, Chris G has waited out the meter. Nice air grab. Auto sleep. This could be the game. Oh my god, this is going to be the game. Maximum Damage. I don't even know if that's how you say it in Spanish, but it sounds it cool. It sounds pretty awesome. Don't count him out. Oh my god. He's going to run away. Most definitely. Chris G. got nice little slick ways to hit people with Dr. Doom, though. He'll go up and then delay the down back uh, the cross up. Yep, yep, stuff like that. Oh, see, he got, he got a lick off. And the missiles. Last chance for Chris in this one. This was again. What a dominant game there by Filipino champ going in. That's a lot of confidence booster right there. The switch to the missile. It's two games to two now. Losers finals, EVO 2014. Every year you ask, will this be Chris G's year? Filipino champ, might be the spoiler. Might be the spoiler, yes sir. Oh my goodness, time ain't action. This is gonna look kind of awesome right here. Oh man! So excited for this. These guys are at the pinnacle of their gameplay. One year of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 salt, of three twos, of O threes, and it all comes down to this. Two two losers final. Somebody's gonna go home and wish they did better. Who is it gonna be? Chris, first hit, jump ace, and the Astro. Defense, defense, defense. Is that, is that flight mode? Oh, it's that flight mode. Look at how much damage he's done. So it's just about four hits and a bunch of uh, a bunch of projectile blocks. Defense, chip damage. Good block there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Snap. Nice. What a confirm with the missiles. Oh, dash under. Chris came in swinging. Everything's on the line here. He can't oh. lose Virgil. He got opened up. Knock knock. Filipino champ. Nice Quickening and simple. the tempo. Oh my god, he is an awesome control of the match oh, now. He pulls in. Cabeza de fuego, cabeza de fuego. Makes up huge opportunity here with the stalking player. Oh my goodness. He's just gonna chip. Trying to he, brother. He's up one. This is not a good look right now. Vir Virgil is Christie's comeback character. 
Virgil is his comeback kicker, and Doran is Filipino champs, kind of more character. Filipino champs in perfect position to take this. He couldn't be any better. He can ask for more. Good block there by Filipino champs. He is in, in, the, he is in control of this match. Didn't want to get hit out of it. Oh my goodness, Filipino champ, he might do it. Things are going downhill for Chris G. Oh my goodness, is this really happening right now? He's fighting a losing battle. Look how tough Dormammu can make it for Morgan. Right to the top, stockpiling as always. Got under. He needs so much off of this. What's he going to do, Yikes? He's going to THC up side, side oh. up. Can he get something mid-screen? Is he at the wall? He's just about side. Oh, side to get rid of the meter. OK. And the Astro. He might, he might get a roll second to Magneto, maybe. Or Dr. Doom, even better. What but, a beautiful sequence from Chris there. Did about as best as he could. And now he sees the momentum. But Chan, still sitting on a pretty comfortable lead. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like OMG. He's got to keep making contact with his projectiles so he can build a meter and keep the Astro going. Super late overhead. Champ just didn't see it. She has that bendy air gas. And Christie snuck one in. Oh my this could goodness. be the swing. This could be the swing. Can he finish this? Here he comes. He's going to shockwave it. He's going to shockwave you up. He's going to punish Dr. Doom a little. He went for oh, what? Oh, no. These mistakes. No, no, no. Critical That's mistakes. Not what he Critical mistakes may have cost Filipino champ another Evo. He made a mistake against Justin. It looks like one against Filipino champ is going to send him home. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Chris G, to the, for the first time, has made it to the finals of Evolution, eliminating the 2012 champ, Filipino champ. That sucks for champ. You already know that was burned into cinders. He was going to oh, yeah. bless Dr. Doom a little bit. Oh yeah, all day. Oh man, good job to Champ though, he did his thing, but man, that was not supposed to go down like that, but it is what it is when you don't do the right inputs or the it's, right It's decisions. Marvel, nobody can be 100% in this game. There's just too much going on. There's just too much you have to do. But we got Chris G and Justin Wong, Grand Finals. It don't get no better than this. This is a dream Grand Finals. Speaking of the dreams in the Grand Finals, helping us out all the way through to the Grand Finals has been One Frame Link, supplying us with event statistics. Check them out at OneFrameLink.com. Pennings behind the scene of the FTC. Make your calls, make your predictions based on the real data. OneFrameLink.com, of course. I've learned a lot since, since uh, watching they, they new tech. Yeah. Yeah, Evolution. So hopefully we see that in a lot more tournaments. But in the meantime, we are at the grand for now. We are at the climax of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3's grand finals. This is the one that everyone asked for. They wanted Justin Wong and Chris G. Justin has a chance to be the savior of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Turn it around. He is the marvelous one. Let me tell you, I like I like the change of pace here for Chris G. Normally, I remember back in the day with the little Twitter wars, yep. him and Mr. Wizard talking about Evo didn't have no valley, but think again, he's looking at that crowd right now, that C. He knows what's at stake. He knows the prestige. He is filling it now. Now that he's in the grand seat, he's in the driver's seat right now. Hey, of these two guys, Justin's the only one that's been here before, and Justin knows the value of winner's back in position. He might try some secret teams, or he might just take some gamble. That's not good. This is a button check, but uh, at the very least, he's going to have so much information gathering, and that's the real advantage of being in the winner's bracket. He could lose three games, start to get a download, start to get a read on how Chris G is feeling, and then turn it around so quickly. Definitely. So you can see the stats right there. In the past, Chris G and Justin Wong have played each other a lot, but who comes up top is Chris G. Yeah. Now, I want to know what's going to be the approach at the beginning. Because this guy's going to work. Will he double dash for Circus Slash Akuma? Yeah. Oh, will he double dash, go in the end, make the block, dive, kick? Uh-huh. Or will Chris G just avoid everything in, in, in general? He's going to try. Because with his team, Wolverine Storm Akuma, as strong as the ground game is, it has no air control. But here we go. We are at the grand finale. We got GG's Chris G on the losing side of things, taking on EG Justin Wong in the winner's side. Of course, 
folks at home that are familiar with this, that are unfamiliar with this, Chris G has to win two sets two to sets. become the champion. Justin Wong only has to win one. Chris G needs to win a three out of five and another three out of five before Justin wins just three in a set. Now, if Justin Wong can do this, he makes history. He comes back. Obviously, we already know his background with Marvel Scab on two multiple Evo championships. Can he make that? happened here at the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 universe. And join that coveted multi-game EVO Champion Club. It is not very popular. And he's starting over Row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can agree with this. I can agree with this. Gets the hit with Ms. Monroe. Snap back. What we get back to doing? What we get in vertical? Nice block. Tries to punish the chicken guard. Ooh, nice block! block. Woo! Block. That awareness. This is what I like to see. This is that Grand Finals defense right oh, here. Yeah, it is on right now. It is on. Nice. Okay, Get like some meter and reset. Okay, good block. Oh, oh my God. Block from Justin. One of the main things that you have to know, folks, is when you're in the air, always keep an eye on that indicator. Yep. You see it right there. Dangerous position. One of the most dangerous positions in Marvel. Coming down from a super jump. Yep, yep. Always keep an eye on that indicator. Nice catch. Oh, no. Well. No Gucci Bell here. Nice tag, nice tag. Really, really good hard tag. tag. Now he's got the life advantage on Storm. He can play the chip game. Nice snap back. Avoids the missiles. Goes right at him. Up, down, and it's the low this time. Oh my god. Well, he put the first nail in the coffin. He really put the first nail in the coffin. All right. Virgil down. One of the main problems. Will Wolverine come in? Yes, he will. problem. Goes up for the grab. Nice tech. And at the top of the screen, that's going to be safe position for uh, Chris G. Here she comes. Sister, sister. Oh, my God. You already know she is getting expected. Get it. This is how you kill a demon. Can Justin Wong do this? More so, can Chris D do this? Right now, it looks like Justin. Tall order, but he had a hit. Well. Needs a TAC, but yeah. a guaranteed finish. He might go side. No, I wouldn't know. Don't know. We got one more on deck. One more on standby. He's possibly going to be waiting for that assist goal by Puma. Yeah, he needs to play perfectly right now, though. Okay, he's looking at the assist. Get some. X Factor. Didn't get probably the damage that he wanted on Akuma. Wolverine blocked a lot of those hits. Oh. Dive on the screen, a boy's dive, or the hail oh my God. went for the dive. He can't both keep at it. That he needed to come back. That was a guy like the there by Chris, too, but it just didn't work out for him. He's just barely off the mark, and he still had the X Factor up. He really needed to make the comeback happen. Justin Wong, nail number one. One. Oh my God, he smells it. He, he tastes it. Look at the determination on his face. Could be Evo champion seven times over with two more games. Oh my God. Oh, we're getting that snap back, y'all. Oh, my God. Okay, he missed it. Oh, you, know, you know it's coming, people. Missiles. Astro, he wants defense. Justin goes right at him. I like that, though. With the, with the, good, with the good plan of starting off storm, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see the, I see the advantages here. He's got, uh, he's got the offense. He can get in there. He's got counter supers. Oh my god. Oh, that's the curse. This is the Wong Factor. These incredible players, Filipino champ and Chris G, have gone down to Justin Wong making these tiny mistakes. Oh my goodness. Chris G's still looking good right now, but his resources are looking slim. No meters on that. Wow, bad tag. Wong Factor. Oh, he went for the tag. Didn't yeah. look like he could finish it with the X Factor, so he went for the tag. He could have done an X Factor combo, though, but he yeah. was not good. Yeah. Committed himself. Uh oh. Here we go. A little bit greedy, but he's got Doom. Oh, that was a good face. That was a good face, Justin Wong. Wow. X Factor. And he's staying in the sky. Madden and Justin Wong play right. Methodical play. He made an accident. I think he, he accidentally air dashed and, and fell down. Oh, Speed he didn't want. And Chris G right now in a good position. X Factor uh -oh. is going. Uh oh. Justin Wong got to hang in there as much as possible. Wolverine could be the ace in the hole in this game. He can take the chip, so Chris has to go in. Good chicken guard there from, from Justin. Just a 5 0 waste some time. I like it. 
Oh, but the Shockwave, Morgan Shockwave. I think Justin will take that trade. It burns a meter, it burns a lot of the X Factor, and look at how much damage it did on Akuma. Almost nothing. Oh my god, I'm so excited in my pantalones. No Astral, so Justin can go in and he's going. No Doom, no Astral. Justin's just gonna pick his spot. He's slowly building the meter. He's got a lead. I'm gonna roll tag. I'm gonna roll tag right now. From from uh, Chris. From Justin Wong. From actually. Justin? Yes. You think he'll do it? Yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna do it. Oh, nice punish! Oh my god. Oh my god. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He's confident in his Akuma. Okay. okay. Koki Long, Justin Wong. Go, go key. Koki Long. Koki Long, the master of Satsu no Hado. Oh my god, good boy. Ah, Justin Wong, that'll win! Koki! He's out of there, Demon Quest out of there, but good catch! Top of the screen, but it's too high for anything significant. But he's losing life, Justin is. He can't be too comfortable. There's the heart attack. He had oh to. Oh my god, no more, no more assist. Oh my god, he's damage on Virgil. He's comfortable. Can Chris do enough chip in eight seconds? It's I don't possible. Think, can it's he? Possible can he? He's going in, Chris. But Akuma, he's going in. Akuma's in the back. He's getting life back. Oh, it's really close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. A couple more sofas really might do it. He's killing the time right here with the super. Timer scam. Oh my god! Who got it? I think Justin got it. Who got it? Justin Wong! Oh my god. High pressure situation for Justin. Very high situation situation. He doesn't want to lose his momentum right now. He doesn't want to lose this when it's back in advantage. Chris G is very capable. We've seen it many times with Chris. He can make that three, that six game comeback. Don't give him a chance. Already damage on Doom. Justin, firmly in control. Oh my God, Justin. You're going to do this? You're going to do him like that? He could do it with a 3-0, but Chris oh, but gets Chris under. G. Powerful, powerful hit right here. You're going to have to make it count. Nice. She the doesn't want to die. The read, the tap read has been amazing in this whole top eight. Now, now we got a problem. Chris G in excellent control right now. Can Wolverine do it? One air grab could change the game. Hey, best friends forever. Let's see if they still got it. Oh my goodness. Here comes the obstacle force. Man, that drill call has had no success for Justin. Looking for the snipes. Going downhill. Hail Mary time. He'll survive. We'll see him again. Oh, he needs the X Factor. He's gonna oh, throw yeah. away Akuma and save for Wolverine. Wolverine's gonna come in with no life, though. I think he should have X Factor that one. Wolverine, though, coming in. He's actually a dangerous anchor. People don't know this. But can he catch? He's gotta exit. He's gotta exit. Oh, I think he did. I think he tried it right there, but he busted a little too late. First G. Here we go. The unclashable finish. Oh, 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 the fireball stall. Block is solid. Oh, just the one. The pressure is on. He wants it. Oh, nice break. That was a break from Justin. And Chris, the master of air grabs, gets two. Oh, getting in a massive combo here, no? Avoiding the double projectile. Tries to go in behind the Kuma. Justin's not trying to rest while Justin, while uh, Chris is astraled up. He gets the grab. Oh, my goodness. One projectile. The legs, the legs. Oh. The can play just at one ceiling. Too far. Oh, the standing roller. Justin wanted more. Justin wanted more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Justin Wong in prime position right now. He killed the problem. One character up. The positioning. Corner of the screen. Justin can ask for more. Gets the hit. Oh, my goodness. He's not going to get two off of this. He is gonna get two! He didn't use right, he's, Oh my goodness. Chris, he's still alive. Here comes Virgil. Chris got away. Got away with one there. He's keeping it locked down. Wolverine Doom. I'm sorry, Virgil Doom, one of the most dangerous shells in the game. Oh my god, here comes Black. The situation is. Nice text back about wow. Doom. He wanted to avoid it, but he called his Doom! Missiles! The spoiler! Rapid slash out of nowhere! Oh, oh, oh man! He's the first time we've seen that this whole set. Oh, and Tachala gets out of there. Oh, very unfortunate. Very fortunate there for Justin. He went for the legs again! X Factor! Oh my god, are we crowning a new champion I here? I think this might be it, guys. As the king returns. As the Marvel God has returned to his throne. I think we're gonna see it. The return Hold of up. the king. I'm not even gonna knock it yet. 
I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Oh my God! He just down there takes it. He takes it. He's, He's back. Done it. Unbelievable. He's back. He's back. Winners bracket. The, the whole time. The best. He is the best. He did it. Justin Wong once again at the top of the mountain. I can't believe it. Wolverine Storm McCoy, yeah, he's no zero. No Virgil. Straight raw gameplay from the, one of the greatest of all time, Justin Wong. This was an amazing top eight. These players all came out to play. They showed us something. I oozed all the hype out of me. I feel like my brain is gonna leak out of the side of my head. Skate. It, what an amazing top eight. It, it, last year for Justin just led into this one. It was like he had to suffer the loss last year. He got the run back this year, and he ran it all the way through. Winner's bracket, man. Justin Wong. Okay. He deserves an award. Somebody get that man an award. Give We're going to be going to our award ceremony. Give that man a, a massage on the back. Oh. Something. Rub his feet. The king has returned. The king is back. He's the champ, Evo champ, seven times over now. MVC2 and MVC3. And we already knew it, but he has truly once again earned and, the name and Marvelous. Give, and to give him that credit, he came back to win this when the meta game has evolved. The game, the game has gotten cheaper. The tech has gotten more high, has been more efficient. The kills has been more deadly. Yeah. And Justin Wong managed to survive the onslaught of, of this Marvel Universe. Man. While, while the meta shifted, he firmly put his foot down and said, this is the team I want to play, and I'll figure out how to win with it. He proved it today. He took out the best. He took out F Champ and Chris G here. And Flock of the last year's champ. He took out two Evo champs. And Chris G. Can't argue with that. Justin Wong, the best in the world. He's the best in the world right now. Wow, but can't you take know that what? away give from it, him. Give it to our outstanding top eight. We got Coach Steve and Mom. I'm pretty sure they top at seven. You got Jan, the world's most dangerous man, representing Texas, holding it down with the big bodies. Our former champion, Flock, is still being consistent as ever. Ray Ray, the young gunner from Control, New York's finest, Filipino champ, being the best still, even though he took a harsh L, but you know that that man is still a problem. Oh, yeah. And of course, Chris G can't say much of him. Still one of the most consistent. And of course, the man of the hour. Your new champion. All right, guys. Just finals. Make some Whoa. noise for all the players. 2014 Marvel. You know Oh, he's worked so hard for it, man. Well, a smile on his face. You already know and I'm, I'm going to ambush Justin for a free Coach meal. Steve! The homie, Coach Steve, coming from New York. First year Evo made his top eight presents. Amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, Steve. Place. It's Murder Marn! Oh, that's his new name, Murder Marn. I kind of like that. I like it a lot, man. And I like Marn this year, dude. Look at that. He's working real hard. Fifth place. Give he's it up champ. for Chan. World's most dangerous man did his thing. Look at that signature toothpick. Man, he is a terror in every game. Fear him in the practice. Also in fifth. Make some noise for last year's champion, Flocker! And, and you know what? Flocker doesn't like listening to that, but nope. he's still in there. He wanted to repeat for sure. Here comes Ray Ray. Second Fourth Evo. place. It's Ray Ray! We've been waiting to see this guy in the top eight. Yeah, he we got, got it. We got to see a few games from him. Maybe next year we'll see a few more. And in third place, Filipino Jay! You can see it on his face. He knows. He knows. Mistakes put him in the place that he is. Well, good play got him here, but mistakes put him there. Definitely. In second place, he worked hard. Give it up for the genius, Chris G! Always amazing play from Chris G. And you know what I like to see? This right here from Chris. And good genuine old in smile. first place, oh it's the return God. of the king, Justin Wong! Oh, you, know, you know what? I like when they said that, the return of the king, because all their faces turned those, those happy faces into the crowd. <laughs> and I tell you 2014, what. 2014, Evolution Marvel! And that's what I like, that they don't like hearing that he's the king. Yeah. Well, that's why it's going to bring more competitive spirit into this game. Marvel, Marvel is certainly not dead. Hey, if they, you know what they say. If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man.